Hello, once again, we just got raided from Mimi JP here on, on stream, on the Twitch. I told you we'd be back, YouTube. Welcome, welcome. I'm not gonna play any of the Barney rave song or any of that stuff. Welcome. Good time to raid. We're actually gonna jump into the game now here shortly, but... For YouTube... <coughs> second time I'm saying hi to you. Uh, we're gonna play Manor Lords. We're continuing our playthrough or game save that we had yesterday. I think I called myself Bjergsen or something like that, but... I think Lord Gassicus is better, so we're just gonna say that my name- I call myself Lord Gassicus. I know you can rename your village and stuff. I don't know if you can rename your lord. It doesn't matter, because when you walk around on the ground, you look the same anyways. I think that's just the default character model is just walking around with a cape. How is, uh, how is JP stream Twitch chat? How are you guys doing? Let me go ahead and kill this, this, uh, Seaberg stuff too, as well. And we'll just have this going. Would you? <clears throat> We're back. Second live. Mm hmm. JP won? He won? Did he, like, destroy everybody? I claimed that shit is where I left off, where I claimed the next door, like, plot of region or whatever land. And it's super fertile. Very chill, unusual for JP. Hmm. Evening, me lord. Welcome everybody from the raid. Sandworm the Allison with the 12 months. Two months, rather. Thank you very much for the two months. It's interesting, it loads it in. I thought something was crazy was gonna happen. So sit rep of what's happening here. I'm finally building my manor after building this much of what's going on. Uh I think I have my army deployed over here because we wanted to make sure everything's good to go. It's not a huge army, but we're growing in size. We have to make some more space too, but I really just want them to focus on making this this manor because I feel like I shouldn't live amongst the peasants or have I should have a house. <clears throat> do 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 do. Took uh, forever to find you on the YouTube's gone lurking. Uh, have an awesome stream. No worries. You know you can build a full castle. Yes. You just can't see it yet because... Because it's not... I got a little bit of like a, a castle sort of setup. They're not done. <clears throat> Let's have a little walk around for the manor. Man, it put me way up the road. What the fuck? Let us go! Yes. Bring the supplies. Build my manor. Quickish. Sharpish. This looks bigger from up top. Can't walk through. Damn it. Ah. Ah. What the hell? This is my manor! Fuck. What up, Lanny? How's it going? When are you expanding to Mexico Shire? <laughs> we called our area Sombrer... Some... Some... Sombrero? Sombreburo? Sombreburo. Which I thought was kind of funny and clever. You just have a campfire in the middle of the road, as you can see. What's in there? Hello, and welcome to this 1,000-bit alert. That's $10. I'm your host, Beth, fiancé extraordinaire. And I am now wife extraordinaire. That's, That's right, right, everybody. everybody. Wife. Wife. Say it with me. Wife. <laughs> extraordinaire. Let me, uh, let me take a moment just to go through why we're so appreciative of this uh, $10 tip. Uh, firstly, it gives a slight break in the stream to listen to the sound of this alert, which is, you know, just... First, you, you know, it's produced by, uh, Sec and, uh, voiced by me, yes. So, um, again, we're very appreciative, and that's the main reason. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to trigger this alert again, 1,000 bits. Uh, if you'd like to trigger it again, 1,000 bits, if you miss the alert. And, uh, hey, enough from us. Back to you, Max. 
Is that just a piece of wood on my desk? Just a piece of wood. Anyways, this is uh, this is my area where the ladies walk around with spears. I don't know why, but they do. We got some oxen stuff going on over here. They looking good. And then we got we just got this horse in. Hello, God, it'd be awesome if I could jump on you and ride you. <clears throat> you got some tough gals in the village. I do. We're a simple little village, but hey, the street isn't littered with shit, and I think that's something to be proud of. And we just got this area to... <coughs> to make a... a village. A little farming thing. That's probably what we're gonna do first and foremost. Um... Archibald May, June, July, August. There's a decent amount of farming that can still be done, so if I get going on the farming here soon, we can actually get some shit going. So I say, let's try to get some barley going, so that way we actually have a tavern! The people have no booze! Well, at least no booze that I've provided them. We're gonna try- we're gonna try to say, stay, uh, task-oriented and focused, but... How can you play the game now? I'm super dope. Now, myself and a bunch of other content creators got, uh, early access to it, so... Which is great news for us! Do-do-do... Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Kaku, nice job. Nice joke. Uh, um. So, I have to look after remember how to play the game. We have to go here and try to grab Settler's Camp. Which we should be able to afford. The question is, we're going to be doing barley. Probably just straight up in the middle is, is best. The fertility is like wild for everything. Rye is really fertile over there. Just barley. Let's start with barley. So maybe if we did it like, I don't know, somewhere here, central-ish, where it's close to stuff. Really, we're all, like kind of in the center of where resources are. Should be where we're at. So maybe here. Yeah. That seems neat. Starting supplies, modest, average, plentiful. Let's just do average. We're poor, but that's all right. And now it's the beginning again. Yep. Okay. I'm not gonna screw up this time. Not that I screwed up last time, but... Hmm. I don't wanna do this. Where are the people gonna live? There's gonna be a lot of industry right there. By industry, I mean just like mining and stuff. Although I don't think people... No, I didn't reset. I'm just over here. They're still working on stuff over here. That's that's where we are. This is this is the the village that's gonna be for for uh, farming. New territory. I don't know if I like. Is it worth it to try to have this thing where it's like a central square and all that stuff and then the houses are all around? I mean, this is just kind of slapped together and then evolved naturally. This one's just for farming, really, so... I think it's fine if we do, like, just a line of houses and then have it, like, the farms be, like, down here, you know what I mean? Or wherever is appropriate. Really, the housing should be where it's, like, least fertile. Okay, rye can be placed, can be anywhere. So wherever it's most yellow, I guess? Oh, there's no water there. <laughs> I didn't look at that. Oh, no. Ooh, no. 
Well. Oh boy. <laughs> That's okay. The well does have to intersect over like where water is, right? Do 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 do. So up here maybe. Or like off this way. Do you know what I mean? Since there's so much water over here. Should have been up here. Shit. I'm gonna do it right here, I think. And then, like, Main Street will be here. <coughs> or here. I think I'm overthinking the well situation. It's probably something I should have paid attention to. Down here would have been good too. I just didn't want to place the village too far away from like our main one in case we needed to like defend them. I'm just going to make an executive decision, and I think we're going to go here, and then damn the fertility that we may cover. That's pretty good, because there's like slotches there that are not fertile. <coughs> and I think this is the King's Road, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of the game so far? I like it a lot. I happen to like it a lot, gosh darn it. How's Manor Lords? It's really good. I like it a lot so far. five going. We'll have them do that first. I gotta connect it to their village. Because they gotta move everything. Wait, no, what am I doing? I want to make a road. We're going to remove that road anyways at some point.
We're gonna live that way. Away from fucking everything, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's alright. I feel like I'm making a mistake having them go over there. There's like wells here. Oh god, am I making a mistake? I could have just had the housing right here and then have wells up here, but it's- then it cuts into the forest. I'm- you know what? I'm cutting- I'm just gonna go with it. They're gonna have a really long commute to any- <laughs> to any wild game or berry hunting. Ah, shit. I feel like I'm making a mistake there. Where's that? That's really far away. Well, I was thinking in terms of being like in the- having a water table and then being out of the way. <clears throat> Talk- hey boss, it took me three days to get these veggies for you. This might have been good over here. It's not too late. Cancel on the project. We're going to go over here. I only have two territories. <laughs> oh shit! Please don't leave. Stats bloke, thanks for the raid. Welcome on in. Also, Zicoticus with the seven months. Poison Ivy eight one two with the sixty five months. Mattitus with the raid as well too. I missed that. Hello, is the King's Road messed up now? No, no, the King's Road's fine. It just doesn't make sense if you're trying to, like, form a village or whatever to have them be so far away from where their natural resources are gonna be. And there's a, there's a water table around here. Just so you know, too, we're not starting out, like, anybody joining us. We have this here. This is our main area. Sombrer Burrow. Stats is either neither able to confirm or deny that he played this game earlier. Ah. Hashtag not a review. That's true. This isn't a review. <laughs> it is not a review. That's true. This is legally distinct content from reviews. I don't do reviews. <laughs> Anyways. It is not a review. This is not a review, but I'm having a nice evening. That's right, for sure. I'm glad you, you stipulated that because that's very, very wise. All right. Even if you're reviewing things in your mind about this game, okay? It's not a review. <laughs> this only makes sense to people that, that got early access and <laughs> read the stipulations on stuff. It's fine for a dumbass like me who doesn't really put out reviews. But. Um, okay, let's move. Let's move y'all. Just, just form up here or something. This game needs to hurry up and release. Yeah. Well, I'm chilling with a lot of other creators because, you know, we got access to it, but I, I, I sympathize with your plight. But much like the Lord of the Manor in this game, <clears throat> you know, I'm just, just walking around with my suave cape and everything, enjoying and taking in the sights, lording it over the, the, the peasants. Not that you're a peasant! Uh... Anyways, thanks for anybody that came over from Statsbook. Appreciate you. Let's establish our farming village before it's too... far into the season where it doesn't make sense to do so. Yeah, and the shoes plow as you walk those- the point on those shoes. 
<clears throat> no, it's okay. I, <clears throat> I am a peasant, I know. This music is so fantastic, I swear it gives me folk vibes. Yeah, the, the music is just absolutely great. Amazing. So, if they nestled up in here, this would probably be okay, honestly. Like, And then we had... That's fine, that's fine. Barley fertility's right there. What if we started small? Yeah, we'll just do like a barley field right over here, and then have the village right there. Or as best we can. There's no wrong decisions. We're just trying. We're new to, to messing with the farming stuff. We've tried, but... Uh, do you want to see how terrible... I think this is just RNG, too, the way it goes, but, like, the, the place that we settled, our initial territory... Look how bad the fertility is. I don't know if it does that on purpose. But everywhere else, everywhere else has, like, great fertility. And then right next to us, which is why we conquered it, just super fertile. <clears throat> so farming was not in the books. It was not in the cards for us. <laughs> Skill issue, should have prayed to the RNG gods harder, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, let's just establish our shit here. We'll make roads to take us over here. I guess... Residential stuff will be... Maybe like right up in here. I have like a main street here. I'm gonna try to not... Getting a nice cul-de-sac going, you know, a nice little medieval, medieval suburban neighborhood. Just five houses, whatever. That's a little too big. There, five people. <coughs> they have a bit of a schlep over here. Shit. Not on the road thing. I really like the road system that they have with that. Okay, everybody, pack up your shit and take it over here, please. Exposed goods, unfortunately, as well. Who doesn't like some good old flute based music? Exactly. What's up, Eric? How's it going? <clears throat> we need logistics storage. Grain already in a storehouse, yeah. Let's do the storehouse like here. That's fine. Granary can be right next to it. That's fine. Let's have them do that first before having a. 
I'm just going to speed it up. Work through the storms! How's it going over here? <clears throat> I know, the exposed stocks are getting soaked. We're trying. And that's also how high this is. Highest? Or very high. Meanwhile, I'm just letting my soldiers stand here and just in the freezing rain. Is the rain gonna let up today? I don't know. I'm sorry, what the hell? Bandits? Stole resources? Oh, what? What? You know what to do, gentlemen. Push forward, forward. Do we need to send the whole army? Probably not, but... This aggression will not stand, man. <laughs> Be really helpful if we had a hitch and post down there, eh? <clears throat> oh, they're running out of food. Right. Let's go together. Oh, that should be the other way around. They want food. Family's hungry. Huh? Is it because I've had them deployed for so long? I figured I could just have them deployed for a really long time. Kevin DeZombie with 117 months, triple digit Sabaruski. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Ridiculous. What am I going to name my own new village? I don't know. Something. Uh, farm something. I don't know. You guys think of it. We're not even there yet. We're not even sure they're going to live. They're a farming based village. At least that's the point. Content farm? I don't know. The creative juices are not- are not going right now. Shitsville? I don't know what I just did. Shitty McFarm Town? You know. I have- I have faith in these people. We'll be alright.
least they finished the storehouse. That's good. They're going to start dying, though, because they don't have any food. <laughs> I may have royally fucked this up and, and might have to load back. We'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. It might be worth it to just load it back anyway, because I haven't done anything. We'll see if we can fix our way out of this. I shouldn't have put the village all the way over there, basically. I thought I was going to have the village here, and then I identified, oh, there's not much water up there. <laughs> and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have it up there. So we just had them, you know, take a really long trek. Battle should be over pretty quickly. Kill those motherfuckers. Good. Take this shit. And then you'll come home. How's it going over here? Probably terrible. Hey, they have food. Oh, this is some rare burrow. Yeah, they're dying. Probably. I get so turned around usually. Grab that shit. Belongs to my treasury. Good. You all come home. Well earned rest. You've been deployed for forever. You do not need to run. I want them to not run. They're stuck running, I think. Oh wait, no, they're, they're, they're doing it in their own time. Okay, cool. Good. Good, good, good. If you still need a name for that village, Poop Britannia? Nice, we'll keep it in consideration. You send all those people for bandits? Yes. They're my military. People require food or they might starve. I could send food, I'm pretty sure. Can't I? How do I do that? There's a way to send food to the village up there. From my, uh, my existing one. <clears throat> there might be something I actually need to do through... Trade? No. I saw it before and I can't remember where it is. <coughs> Big fan, by the way, I'm in the bath. I gotta clear my throat, hold on. Nice. Happy you're having a nice bath. Logistics, there we go. Pack station. Use this building to set up barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. This is what I need.
I think they're going to die before that, though. I think they might start dying. And if that happens... Yeesh. It's because they have to run all the way from up here. I'm going to snooze ads for a second, by the way. It was just poor planning. I, I slapped down this home, their, you know, their, their village, the tents and stuff, so... They've been going back and forth, back and forth, and it slows down construction, because they're, they're drawing from those supplies. <laughs> oh, no. Ads incoming? No, I snoozed him for five minutes. We won't snooze the next ones, though. But we're learning. Just reload during the ad break. I may just reload. Because I'm pretty sure- you know what, I'm just gonna reload. I'm gonna reload. I screwed myself over with that, so hold on. We haven't really done anything, so... I'm gonna go load back to- I claim that shit. There we go. So we claim this area, we want to settle over here. This is where we'd like to be. You can go there, that's fine. Albondiga will become a village one day. Maybe we'll call them Albondiga, because I like the name of it. <coughs> just a fun word. Albondiga. Pretty sure everybody's here is just focused on making my, my manor. So we're just gonna let that play out. These guys will take our focus. That way. Settlers camp. Looking like right. That should be fine. Oh, I. Hmm. They kind of went right over where I. Whatever. Not a huge deal. We can work with it. Have them build their homes first, sure why not? And hopefully they don't starve. <clears throat> Actually, considering food was the problem last time, let's have them build the forester hut. What was that? What was that noise? What was that noise? It has similarities to Anno, but different in the way that it's 
you know, uh, done, I guess. Forager hut. Good. So you got someone getting you guys some food. That's good. Another beam coming up. Make your homes. Where do I have market? I always forget. Lads are running. Here it is. There you go. It's a market. Gonna pause real quick while the ads run, okay? See you in a hot second. Ads, ads, ads. Boom. You're not safe either, YouTube. Boom! Ads to your face. <clears throat> I'll leave you with the music, though. I'm gonna check on the wife and make sure everything's good and she needs anything. Cause she's into bath. See you in a sec.
I'm back. <clears throat> Chad, if you see Beth in like, I don't know, 20 to a half hour minutes, that sentence didn't make sense. If she says bath protocol initiated, let me know. And spam it in the chat. It means I need to help her get out of the bath. Because she's flaring up like a motherfucker. So I gotta help her. She'll probably ping the lights and make them glow pink and stuff too, so... Be alright. Are there hotkeys for the, the speeding up and pausing and stuff? I feel like there should be, if there isn't. <clears throat> the quaint town of Sombrero Berg begins. I think we're gonna call this one Albondigas. Let's just call it that, because I like, I like that suggestion. You wanted- you made that suggestion before, didn't you? Who was on the chat that said that? Make yourself known! You? It's a good one. It's a good name. Finish- finish making your food, damn it. You guys also need wall- or um, not walls. They're getting soaked. Shit. Right, that's the next thing we need. We need... A storehouse. A granary. Let's put it over here. This one we know we're going to put into heavy plow. Because they're going to be needing it like a motherfucker. They will be our farming backbone. Uh, you guys can disband, by the way. guys to make a logging camp. Not a good... Oh, they don't have enough wood, do they? Shit. Damn ball sack! We do need to get them trading stuff, so at least they'll survive over there, but they don't have enough wood. So we have to build that so we can send some supplies that way. Logistics. What's the M game like? Are there any other other AI towns? There are, yeah. There's other like AI territories and stuff. 
two of these territories. I think you just have like, in this preview, this early access, you have bandits, you have the outlaws, and then you have Hildebold von Bernit, whatever the hell your, his name is. That's actually kind of cool that they have settings right here. You don't actually need to go into full-on settings, but you can if you want to. Is it just me, or does the stream look better here than on YouTube? Uh, yeah, it's because YouTube's compression kills that shit over there. It looks- it should look a little bit more sharper here on Twitch. It doesn't look bad on YouTube, but, um... YouTube always looks better for me. Hey, whatever. You watch where it's best for you. I'm gonna tweak uh, YouTube settings and all that stuff. Soon enough, we'll get it. We'll get it locked in. Eventually, that should end up looking better than than, than Twitch. But for right now, for some reason, um, Twitch can look a little bit sharper sometimes. The manner's going up. We're working on the fence. Does it give buffs? Yeah. It gives you, um, a buff in your overall influence, and then there's, like, some other cool stuff you can do with it. I've been without a manor for a very long time. I lived... I had no house! And I think my people need to realize that. That's why they're okay building me this giant thing on top of the hill, literally looking down on all of them. You know? I want to send them timber. How come I don't see timber? Firewood, yeah. Is um You guys see timber? There's firewood. Planks, but that's not, not every, no, the basic, planks is an advanced version of, of, uh, the wood, like timber. In order to build what, a lot of stuff that I need, I need timber. Some rare bro, corpse pit. Oh, we finally finished the corpse pit. Sick. <laughs> We need to have timber, though. Yeah, because in order to even make the woodcutter's lodge or any of this stuff, they need timber. So is it just fucked? <sighs> is it the wooden parts? I don't know. Put in the logging camp? You're not understanding. If you put in a logging camp, you need two timber to be able to make the logging camp first. And that leads us to the problem that I've been trying to solve. Sending wood from our other village to this one. And then Chad is like, SEND PLANKS! And then I say, you need timber! <laughs> you see? Do you really? Mm, there's got to be a way. Can you destroy a house and reclaim the materials? Yeah, we might have to just do that. They'll get a little uh, pissy, but... Yeah, people are going to have to be homeless for a little bit. Sorry. Sorry, it's for the greater good. Either way, it's still good that I have that packing post or whatever, but...
Build that shit. How's construction on the manor going? Yay. Did we just complete it? I don't think they're headed for me. Probably going for another bandit area. Unless it's a surprise attack. Hopefully not. Manor done, me lord. I think the manor is done. Oh shit, it just threw me right in the manor. I can't even walk through this. Alright, that, that sucks. I wish I could walk through that, but whatever. Hey, I'm in my manor. It's all for me. Got some more timber now. You do good. Build that other house. Why haven't you guys moved this shit? Because you don't have a hitching post? No, you do. Why is no one grabbing this shit? There's a granary in a general storehouse. Why is why is no one moving any of this? Does there need to be a road to this shit? I think that's what it is, isn't it? It's that actual that dumb. Oh, someone working the storehouse. I forgot about that. God damn it, you actually need somebody in the fucking storehouse. So stupid. I think they just grab somebody that's unassigned. There. Grab that shit. Meanwhile, our crap's just been sitting out there to rot. together. Good. That's good. Got somebody in the foraging hunt, logging camp, good. We're gonna need extra people too. 
so... They need a well, too. They don't even have a well yet. the well. If we look at our army now. So I'm confused. I built in the in the manor this tower, which is supposed to be enabled to like buff up my personal guards. Higher, you know what I mean? Well, okay, I guess it boosted the amount that I could have up to 24 as opposed to 12. I don't know why I only have five though. I'm assuming it's just a population thing. still have these people not having the requirements meant for the food stall supply. I don't know exactly how to fix that. I don't know if it's a lack of just like oxes and or stuff to transport or it's a lack of market space. Like if I put another market space like across the way, would that help? Because they're right here. I don't I don't understand. Like it There's a food stall right there. But yet they're saying they don't have food stall supply. I know there's like more people living in this one because it's more upgraded and that's a part of it, but... You feature people too well need to get a bit of suffering going on? I could enact that policy, yeah. There's a policy where they skip every fifth meal. Build more market space? Yeah, that's what it seems like it is. I'll just do that. It's not like market spaces are hard to build anyways. Or take much resource. Let's build it like along here, I guess. Sure. It's literally a central market. God, there's no berries. What are we gonna do? There's no berries. Well, sounded like I was going into a king, uh, uh, king Kai. What are we gonna do? There's no berries. I guess we can have them hunt.
more hunting. What is food looking like here? Food's okay so far. It's helpful that we have these people do gardens and all that stuff. We got chicken coop. I think I'm gonna have them do more veggies. You do more veggies. Hides. Hides. Well, I don't know how, like, seasonal it is for barley or for rye or anything like that. I don't know what, what crops grow when. But we're in July right now. <laughs> it takes time. The bitch of it is it takes time to set up the village. That's going to be the farming village. And by the time it's set up, it's like, well, shit, I don't even know if we're going to get any crops in. You know what I mean? You need help in the bath? All right, cool. Let me help her get out of the bath real quick. I'm going to pause the game. Uh, I'll probably run ads because then it'll push the, the next ad break further. Um, let me let me run some ads so I can uh, help the wife out of the bath. You just got here? Have the peasants revolted against Lord Maximus yet? No, I keep them fairly happy. I took like, you know, a full year and some change before I even built myself a manor house. How many manor lords can say that? But don't you worry, I'm going to... I'm going to really make stuff painful for them in the future. But I'm sneaky that way. Try my lord. <laughs> do 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 do. All right, I'll be right back. Me me fair lady of the men needs she needs help getting out of the Duncan, um, tub. Anyways, I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot to run edge. Hold on. Get fucked. Adverses advertisements. Oh, there we go. Go right back, pip pip.
back. She's out in the bath. Okay. You guys might not like this decision, but... Just a little. You guys can still hear it okay. I just don't want to be feel like I'm shouting over it. Okay, um... <laughs> Thank God for that. It was just a little much. Some of the tracks are louder than others. Now it's at a good volume. We'll have that going, so that way we can grow the people here. They have water. They don't have church and all that stuff. The approval rating is going up, so that's good. Feel like we could have the fires ended. What the hell? What the fuck? That's my first fire. What happened? Who's the stupid merchant that caught the market on fire? And now there's a fire over here. What the hell's happening? What the shit is going on? Peasants! Peasants! How is there a fire in the rain? What sorcery is this? Get more water! More water! Pour it on there! Continue! I don't care if you burn! Put that shit out! Khaleesi! I saw you run from the flames! Untouched. You all know what that means. Nisa! Right? Isn't that what they said in the show? Anyways, get that fire out! Watch this shit. This is how you know I am your lord. The fire does nothing to me. <laughs> That's why my cloak, my cape is red. All right, as you were, everybody. Good show, very exciting. Back to work! Whoop. I'm back. Hi. Interesting. I'm assuming it's because of the weather? Like maybe some thunder struck and rain or snow is still working. Weirdness. Do you guys have that? You guys are gonna need this eventually. Right now nobody they're on a spare. Fuel four months, yeah. How much fuel do we have over here, actually? So, do you need a pack station in each territory, like in each village? Like, this one has a... Or is it just one? I think you just need one, right? This has a pack station, so I can barter to send and receive stuff. So I could send them some fuel if I needed to. Let's just see how it works by sending some firewood. Most- oh, they must offer something- oh, shit. Well, I don't know. Never mind. Never mind for now. Eventually, they're gonna be sending us malt. That's how it'll work, I guess, to transport the goods. So there is no just, like, setting up a trade route with yourself to just send it and go. Like, there has to be a barter system? Kind of strange. This game out on early release? Uh, no. 
Only certain content creators like myself and others that have gotten uh, a preview code for creators. Just one, I think. You need something to exchange. Yeah. Well, they're going to be eventually producing barley and stuff for me. <laughs> they're not really in a good spot for that right now, but... Well, perhaps it was simply a bad match. These things do happen from time to time. They have a shit ton of berries now, so that's good. There's a high barley fertility here, so... Come if I did, like, a big-ass field... ...of, like, barley from here... ...to here... ...to here... ...to here... Problem is, the larger the field is, the longer it takes to, to till and all that stuff, but like, you know. Oh, fuck. Make three to four small ones so you can rotate fertility. <sighs> if you split it into many fields, they'll split activities. One will plow, one will plant. So you're saying, like, take this and, and make it into four separate fields, but have there- should they all be barley, is what you're saying? I haven't fucked around much with the farming, because clearly my starting area had terrible f fertility. That, and I was trying to, like, make sure my people weren't starving and stuff, so... It kept going out of season. <laughs> you're meant to kind of rotate. No, I understand that. I understand that, but what is the benefit, I guess, of smaller fields other than just... I guess it doesn't take as long. Yeah, you can rotate quops. Cro you can rotate quops? Hello and welcome to the- Damn it, you gotta pop this alert while I'm trying to talk to chat about stuff. I'm your host, Beth, fiance extraordinaire. I am now wife extraordinaire. That's right, everybody. Wife. Say it with me. Wife. Extraordinaire. Let me, uh, let me take a moment just to go through why we're so appreciative of this. Uh, we'll get back to talking about farming in a second. Uh, firstly, it gives a slight break in the stream to listen to the sound of this alert, which is, you know, just. Firstly, you know, it's produced by uh, Seg and uh, voiced by me, yes. So, um, again, we're very appreciative, and that's the main reason. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to trigger this alert again, 1000 bits. Uh, if you'd like to trigger it again, 1,000 bits, if you miss... The cards in the back uh, like, yes, uh, shake that egg. From us. Back to you, Max. G. Thank you for the thousand biddies, avenged girl. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Love this alert, wife? Yes. So do a lot of people. Oh, I got a... So you're saying maybe, uh, what was the size you said? Two to three Morgan is good to start out with? But like one field? Or should I have, I guess I could have multiple crops going. Like one's barley. One, the main idea was to start with barley, so that way we can actually get taverns running. And I guess we'll, we'll, we'll trade, we'll have the, the barter system be, they're gonna send, because we want them to send barley. Barley back for like firewood or, or something that we have plentiful over there. You know what I mean? Only so many people can plow at once by having smaller fields. Screases who works. The cow overrides others plowing, for example, which could take longer. For you, two fields, each two Morgan. Okay, but... So both barley, though, to start it out. 
Although, I, to be honest, like if you if you guys if you've been watching and you're knowledgeable about it, do you know how? Like we're in August, so I don't know if we're gonna even be able to actually get it set up for any sort of crops before winter hits. I already I already have the upgraded plow. I have the heavy plow enabled for 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 Abundigas, as well as the other place that we have too. But fuck the other places. Farming is dumb there. You plan it in the fall for next for next year? All right, we'll plant a few crops, two Morgans each. That m makes sense. That seemed good. Plant in the end of February or beginning of March, then harvest in August or September. So, well, we're at least going to plow the field. Can we have, we can have them plow the field before it becomes winter, right? So that way it's prepared for planting. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to plow. Just harder, I believe. about workers and how many people I have and all that shit right now. Like, this is a village that just got started. I guess, I guess worry about it. I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna rotate people out into work in the fields. Let me just give you the, the overall again. This is where I started. The fertility is shit. It's absolute shit. Right? So that's why we took over the neighboring area to make a farming area. The village is new. We're starting to get new people moving in, I think. Yeah, someone moved in there and we're finishing constructing that one. And now I just want to get some measure of farming initiative going. So that way we're more prepared when we actually uh, get into season next year, I guess. So we'll plow now. I'm just trying to trying to do what I can. Trying it out. Since clearly, with this area, I wasn't able to do much farming other than just people planting vegetables and shit in their gardens. Um... Yeah. But the main goal is to get this going, primarily focusing on barley, if we can. So that way we can make ale to finally have a tavern. Start with two crops to see how the game works in that regard? Okay. I kind of want the, the two, yeah, the two crops. I want them both to be barley because I want to have a fuck ton of barley. <laughs> Not only are they going to be providing barley for themselves, but they're going to be or, uh, you know, ale for themselves, but barley that will supply ale for also the other place. Let me, let me pause this too. Also, those bandits are going to get fucked. So you'll build two fields of two Morgan for three fields. Wait, what? Or three fields of one or 1.5 Morgan. Also, you want. You can crop rotate after you select what crop you want. You can make them both barley. Yeah. Let's do two fields of two Morgan. Because I like the idea of having higher output with that. That's the main road. That's about what we want.
1.9. It's gonna be 1.9. Fuck it, who cares? Or I could do this a little bit bigger. There you go. Yeah, two Morgan. I know field fertility will... Oh. Don't... Don't talk to me about fertility right now. We haven't even done one fucking season. <laughs> we'll worry about crop rotation when we have to. Okay? <laughs> the back seating, you know, whatever, that's fine. Like, I'm focusing in on just like one or two people who seem to know what they're talking about. I don't mind people giving advice and stuff, but when, when you have a lot of people just like, Don't worry about this! And remember that! And then, you know, it can, it can be a bit a little, a little overwhelming, etc. <laughs> What's your sperm count? <laughs> Fucking fallout. <clears throat> yeah, so we're gonna just focus on doing at least prepping this for barley. I don't mind the help. You know, it just can it just can be a little uh a little much. Sometimes. You know, cousin stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. A lot of that tomorrow, I think, with Beth. Very exciting. So glad that the show is as good as it seems. You guys want to hear? I actually was. I laid down some some of the vocals for the track for the the background stuff. I'll give you a sample while it's going. You like that? Like it. That's me. That's me. I recorded that. I made this. setting your cat have well I would take that as evidence that your cat might be the devil because I, I was hitting you with angelic tones and if that sets your cat off it might have a demonic presence inside of it as lots of cats are are often like Finished the series in two days, and in my opinion, it's the best game to TV adaptation. That's what I said from the first episode. I was like, if this continues, it has the potential, like in the, the way that they've done the first episode, it has the potential to be the best adaptation I've ever seen. Fun fact about an acre of land. One acre of land is what one man can reasonably scythe in one day's work. Really? Hmm. Also, I dropped into the stream late. Uh, I didn't know, my lord, you started another village. I thought you were new, freshly- Oh, no, 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 no. That's the thing, too, is like, for people coming into the stream, and they're just seeing me work, like, this little area, like, no, 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 no. That's Albondigas. Albondigas is our farm little project, alright? Sombrerboro... ...is our main bitch. And you can see our first attempt at farming here. With like the sh this, I think this area was like the least shitty for fertility, but the whole area was shit for fertility. So I was like, uh. Do you have an HOA? I am the HOA. I am the HOA. I just walked around through town. Ah yes, Margaret, put that hoe away. If you're not in the fields, you're not hoeing! How's it going, Bill? These flowers are too close to the road! I need them at least two of my shoe lengths back! For scale, I'll stand right here. Are you even listening? <laughs> I'm the HOA. No weeds allowed on these lands, huh? Ugh. Um... Ooh, that looks cool at night. 
the charcoal pits. He just his job is just sit here and watch that shit burn. Holy shit. Dave, are you still looking at the fire? It's just so mesmerizing. Holy shit, he's still looking at the fire. I can't believe it. Some of us work around here, don't you know? Now I'm going back home to be mistreated by my husband. Actually, I'll have a little squat. Oh, that does look nice. That's what I'm saying. We don't even need to play the game. I'll just do that all the whole time. This is why I don't get anything done. I get distracted. <laughs> Felt like a Monty Python pit. A Monty Python. Did you mean to say pit? Because. Eh? It was a typo, but it was a good typo. The distractions make these games fun, I think. I think so, too. I would love for them. And trust me, we'll get back to what we're supposed to do. But I would love for them to add in more. Uh, even if it's just silly functionality. Because in Anno, you can jump on the ground and do this, you know. But if they allowed me to have, like, little side quests as the Manor Lord, they don't even need to be anything crazy. Or, like, I could participate in, like, the hunt, you know, and do, like, a hunting mini-game. Just some level of interactability, either with the, the, the villagers and peasants and stuff. Um, go to the well and, like, pump the well. Just stuff like that, you know what I mean? Even troops in a battle. Well, that's a whole other thing that I would want, too. I would like that as well, but... It'd be cool. It really does need, and that's my biggest complaint, is that I need a bigger... I need to be able to click these population and get a breakdown of my population. Where they work, what they're doing, what their occupation is, how many are working in what facility. They have something like that where you click on it and it'll show you like where the arrows are and where they live and all that. But that's that's harder to to dissect and, and, and digest, I guess. That's really realistic. A lord would have a hunting party with his guards. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, that would happen. <laughs> like, some lords would, would, you know, get in a, get a hunting party ready and no farmhouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Sorry, guys. We don't. We'll come back here. Uh, let's get the road like this. It'll probably go along the whole entirety of that. And then we'll have a... I have seven houses. Cool. So we have two availability. Okay. We have extra people doing nothing here. We gotta figure this shit out. I'd like more chickens. That's a pretty big area of land. I'm gonna have you guys do veggies. Chickens. Well, they are constructing that. Good. <clears throat> Farmhouse. Oh, didn't those bandits, like, fuck us up? Someone's... Oh, yeah. rally the troops to at least send some of them there. We don't need to send everybody, we just send these guys, honestly. Rally, men, rally! 
Good. Go forth. Wherever they are, I don't even know where they are. Oh, there's two bandits. Yeah, these guys mess with us first, I think. And then these guys... Also, you know what? Let's just go on a bandit raiding party here. You do not need to run. Push, Push forward. forward. Good. Wonderful. <clears throat> Been so excited for this game to come out. So glad to see Max playing it. Yeah, absolutely. Charcoal guy looking stoned as fuck. Yeah, it's because he's just been sitting at the charcoal pits just staring at flames fucking up his eyes and also inhaling the fumes all right what's going on over here you guys are building that that's good we have a decent approval rating So in order for... We need leather. I guess we could get some hides going here so that way I can make some leather happen. That's what we'll start with. They're going to be able to grow a lot of shit, you know what I mean, vegetable-wise, so I'm not too worried about that for them. I want them to focus, I think, maybe a little bit of eggs. A little bit of eggs. But mainly, I, I really want them to have, like, lots of hides. Do you think two- well, they're, they're not a huge village, too. I just don't know how quickly they produce hides. I think the coolest thing about this game is that one guy's making content. I think it's probably the, the one dude that started with it, and now he probably has help. I would think, like, at least outsourcing a little bit of, like, work, like, models and all that. I don't know the details of it, but that's crazy that it started with one dude. I don't know where, you know, what level it's at now. You'd be surprised how much Greg did on his own. I'm sure I would. I'm surprised every time, still constantly, about some of the types of uh, shit that devs can come up with. Also, too, is the tools that devs work with get more sophisticated and ease the workload, you know? It's not the same as it used to be. He's had a small team of contractors like only a few peeps. Yeah. I, think, I mean, it, it's- I'm not trying to diminish what- what the- the single dev, you know, is it- you saying his name is Greg? Produce, like, it- This is very good. <laughs> this early access, just for me playing it, like, is very, very good. <laughs> Slavic magic? Okay, that's his name. This scratches all of the right itches for me. Like, I feel very similarly playing this as I do or did when I played like Anno. And I don't think I don't think that's a mistake, right? Found out how to customize your ratatouille or whatever. You talking about my personal guard? I'd imagine hooded horse help out with extra devs as needed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think you just has support, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it would be foolish to be like, no, it has to be only me, you know? No, it should absolutely you select them and then there's a paintbrush next to- oh. Oh, shit. Is this just like style right now, the way they look? No, this is not style, is it? Is it? Recruit men at arms. Pay from your your treasury to hire a retainer who already owns basic material. Oh. It's 
not really an orange, is there? I chose that other one because it's the closest to orange I can see. What is that changing? Oh, I don't think it displays on that. Good. Um, pay the full price to up import the armor set for this retainer. Pretty cheap. So I don't have the money for that yet, because I think I just spent a lot of it. Um, that's coming later, that's coming later. Okay, so right now it seems like it's mainly cosmetic, the way you can customize your guys' stuff. That's their boots, huh? Is this an individual, like, guy? Gassicus is fuckboys. That's the name of them. So I can change them into. Oh, I understand now. Who wants to be a part of the guard? <laughs> G-Man 9988 with the six months. Thank you very much for the six months. It'll be subs, I would think. I ha- I have to- I have to prioritize subs, okay? I can't just be handing out- you- you can't just be a part of the Gassicus's fuckboys and not be a sub, alright? I'll sub one. <laughs> alright, Winslow. You sub, you'll become one of the guard. Now I can be, okay. Ranger, danger, this is you. Ain't it just like a streamer to monetize things? Crazy. Squeezel Von Strain? Sure. That guy's name's Cunts! <laughs> Through the go groves, did you gift a membership? So that way you can be... <laughs> Do memberships count? Sure, you can be... Listen, there's only five right now. Everybody just chill. Don't get offended if I don't choose you, okay? I'm literally just going by who I see. Winslow, and then we're gonna be Squeezel, if, if Winslow does sub. Squee... shit. Weasel. I'm spelling your name wrong. Daddy's got a bang bang. Well, that's one. 
Daddy's got a bang bang. We'll customize you later. That's you. Holy shit, there's a golden kappa train! Fuck everything else! If you participate in the hype train, you can get the golden kappa! Oh shit! Wins law, put you down. Oh, big fat butt! There you go. I'll just put you as Winslow's. Beep, boop, boop. Or Winslow. Beep, Shit's about to get crazy! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh shit! I am now wife! Extraordinaire. That's right, everybody. Wife! Say it with me. Wife! <laughs> Extraordinaire. Let me, uh, let me take a moment just to go through why we're so appreciative of this uh, $10 tip. Uh, firstly, it gives a slight break in the stream to listen to the sound of this alert, which is, you know... Welcome to Audio it's, Hell! You know, it's produced by, uh, and, uh, voiced by me, yes. So, um, again, we're very appreciative, and that's the main reason. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to trigger this alert, again, 1,000 bits. Uh, if you'd like to trigger it again, 1,000 bits. If you Daddy's miss, got a bang bang. <laughs> Holy shit! Two dollar bitches. Holy shit! Yeah, for YouTube, if you guys don't know what. Goodbye, bitches. I'm the plant daddy. This is your conscience speaking, bitches. <laughs> if you That's don't know, right. if you don't know. Thanks for the two dollars. <laughs> if you don't know what's happening, it basically there's a. Congratulations! This is a one in five hundred chance of getting the cowboy bitches alert. Are you ready? Yeehaw, bitches! <laughs> oh, so there's a golden kappa emote. It's it's the kappa emote is a legendary emote on Twitch. It's a global uh -huh, emote. Bitches! Yeah, he's got a bang bang. <laughs> Hello, it's me from the studio watching this utter carnage unfold live on stream in front of us. <laughs> it's a special thing that happens, and if anybody that participates, they get the golden kappa, the rare emote for a period of like 24 hours, if they participate in the hype train. So clearly, everybody's just like... So, it's just, it's just, it's just going. This is your conscience speaking, bitches. <laughs> That's right. That's Thanks for the two dollars. I'm just gonna let it happen and I'm gonna shout stuff Hello out when and I can. Goodbye, That's bitches. Legendary behavior, bitches. Level I four. Really have this filter on my voice. <laughs> Level four. Uh, hype train happened. Bitches. That's why you're seeing a lot of the bitches nay, stuff. Nay, bitches. Nay, nay. <laughs> That's a gift sub. That's a gift sub. Uh. Booty. I want... I keep trying to, uh... Shout stuff out, but then it, more shit comes in, so I'm just gonna let it... Thank you very much for, for all of the crazy support! There's so many gifted subs Nine and alerts. Cock, bro. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate that. Bang, bang. I'm just letting it ride. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna catch up when it's done. I don't know how far the hype train's going, but hey. I'm your host, Beth, fiance extraordinaire. I am now wife extraordinaire. That's right, everybody. Wife! Say it with me. Wife! Daddy's got a bang bang. <laughs> 
I can't even get with the beat. Daddy's got a bang bang. Like break in the stream to listen to the sound of this alert, which is, you know, just. Daddy's got a bang bang. What the fuck? Daddy's got a bang bang. Level six, golden kappa hype train, 44% all the way to uh, the next level. You got four minutes. Reminder: anybody that participates in this hype train, you get. The Golden Kappa for the next 24 hours Daddy's to use on Twitch. <laughs> the lights don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're like, I, I don't, there's too much going on, man. This is your pilot speaking. Thank you so much for flying with Air Beth today. We'll be landing soon, bitches. Holy shit! <laughs> Let me break it down like a fraction for you. Break it down. Fraction. Let me break it down. God damn! Okay. God damn, boy! Holy shit! With the 25 gifted, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. I'm the plant daddy! Holy shit. Level 6 Golden Kappa Train, uh, 2 minutes and 59 seconds left. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Eternus Dota, thank you very much for the 500 biddies. Oh, fuck yeah! Then there was Penn's Faye... Nope. Oh. How stupid of me. I get to play early because I'm a content creator that has a relationship with the devs slash publishers. That's why. So the goal for today was 50 gifted subs or 50 new subs. We're at 159 because of the golden cap of train. You got two minutes and 16 seconds this left. Is your conscience speaking, bitches? To participate and yeah, get. Got a bang bang. <laughs> if you want it. Oh shit! What am I doing? Wife! Extraordinaire. That's right, everybody. Wife! Wife! Say me. Wife! Wife. <laughs> Extraordinaire. Let me, uh, let me take a moment just to go through why we're so appreciative. Jesus Christ, guys, you guys are insane. Can we get level 7? <laughs> it's 64%. <laughs> You got a minute and 20 seconds. YouTube, you guys are just gonna have to bear with while this- it, it won't last forever, don't worry. Enough from us. Back to you, Max. Ooh. I got fingies full of meat juice. Nearly there! 79%- oh shit! <laughs> Daddy's got a bang bang. That's right, everybody. Wife! Save me. Wife! I will shout out all of this, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit, we did it! Level six completed into level seven! Daddy's got a bang bang. You crazy son of a bitch is dead! It. You know, it's produced by uh, sex and uh, voiced by me, yes. So, um, again, we're very appreciative, and that's the main reason. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to trigger it again, I'm the plant daddy! Back to you, Max. Taylor Swift did it again! <laughs> <laughs> Gassy Mexican. Yeah, you need to work on getting some bitches, bro. If you put as much effort in that. Oh. <laughs> you know, I cracked open the cold one for you, bitches. <laughs> Taylor Swift did it again! Bitches, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a plan daddy! <laughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. You guys are still going. I mean, you got three minutes and 30 seconds to uh, try to get to level. You are a crazy, naked person. Thank you. No you, sir, respectfully. Hello, welcome to this 1,000 bit alert. Oh, oh shit. I'm your host, Beth, fiance extraordinaire. I am now wife extraordinaire. That's right, everybody. Wife. Say it with me. Wife. Extraordinaire. Let me, uh, let me take a moment just to go through. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll shout you out in a moment. $10. When this is done. Uh, firstly, it gives a slight break in the stream to listen to the sound of this alert, which is, you know, just... First, you, you know, it's produced by uh, Sec and uh, voiced by me, yes. So, uh, very to you. I'm the plan, Daddy! Holy shit. Back to you, Max. Goes the hype train. Welcome to this 1000 bit alert. What am I doing? All right. I'm your host, Beth, fiance extraordinaire. I am now wife. Wife. Extraordinaire. That's, That's right, everybody. Wife. Say it with me. Wife. Extraordinaire. Let me, uh, let me take a moment just to go through why we're. You guys got two minutes. You're 41% of level seven uh, golden cap train. Like break in the stream to it ends when it ends. It's up to you. Alert, which is, you know, just. First, you know, it's produced by uh, Sec and uh, voiced by me. Yes. So um, again, we're very appreciative, and that's the main reason. And uh, you know, if you'd like to trigger this alert again, 1,000 bits. Uh, if you'd like to trigger it again, 1,000 bits. If you miss the alert, and, uh, hey, enough from us. Back to you, Max. I need an apothecary. Oh God! If you don't know what a uh, level, or if you don't know what a golden cap of train is, basically, bitches, bitches. You, bitches. if you participate in this hype train at all during the time allotted, oh fuck. <laughs> You get the golden cabin to use on Twitch for 24 hours. Water was glistening all over your body. Booty. I'm waiting for it to come through. I just saw it. I that. like Fortnite. I play it every day. I play it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the alerts are trying to catch up. <laughs> 50 seconds to get to potential level seven, level eight. Oh shit, there it is. Hey. <laughs> 10,000 biddies from acceptance. Holy shit. Don't tempt me to push this hype train by myself. Hey, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just sitting here and you guys dictate what happens. You got 30 seconds to get to potentially level eight. Third, you're at 73%. Oh, big fat butt! Or, or the hype train ends. It's up to you. I'm gonna shout everybody out at the end of it. <sighs> Almost there! Oh shit! Hello and goodbye, bitches. I'm the plant daddy! Max, do you like my cock? <laughs> the random bit alerts in between. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was insane. Everybody that supported the hype train you guys have the golden kappa for 24 hours share your golden kappas in the chat sorry again to youtube chat you, this is just a the twitch chat thing that's happening right now <laughs> back to you max taylor swift did it again <laughs> wow that was something holy shit Uh, wow. So I got to try to shout out, um, not try, I will. I will shout out all that, that crazy generosity that, uh, that happened. 
Daddy's got a bang bang. <laughs> you don't have to do that anymore. The hype train's over. Avenge girl, thanks for the five gifted. Bang bang. Appreciate ya. Thank you, thank you very much. The hype train is never over. Well, I mean, you guys can still do stuff, but I, uh... It doesn't mean... It does, you just won't get rewarded with the golden kappa, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let me put on some, some music that's not just in the game, because when I alt-tab out of the game, it just kills the music. So give me a moment. Put on some of this, why not? Why is the music all fucked up on Pretzel Rocks? Every music player I try to use, it always is screwed up. Huh? Nope. Seaberg it is. Alright, let's catch up to what happened here. <clears throat> We got Avenge Girl. Let me scroll all the way back. Thank you again to anybody that participated there in that hype train. That was fucking insane. That's like the highest hype train I've had in a bit. And y'all got your golden kappas now. I must scroll and continue scrolling. I saw that golden kappa thing hit and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Stuff's about to get crazy. Lilas Alter! Started with five gifted subs 16 minutes ago when it started off. Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you very much for the five gifted. Restless Slinky, anybody that did 10 gifted subs or more, I'm going to mark you down too for the Plant Guardian, so that way you'll get assigned a plant in the Plant Guardian Initiative. Part two, uh, exclamation point plants, if you don't know what that is, you can learn about that. <clears throat> but anyways, Restless Slinky with the 10 gifted subs right after that. Thank you very much. If you're tuning in for gameplay right now for the game that I'm in, uh, just give me a moment. Because I need uh, to shout some people out and mark some stuff down. Restless Slinky. Ten gifted. For 13. A 24. Boom. Three hours later. No, I'll get through it pretty quickly here. Um, then we had a gifted sub from Damn Perfectly to Ryunki360. Bo Brody with 200 bitties. Uh, Hund Cuban with a sub earlier. Uh, Even Star 8 with the five gifted subs earlier. Oh, fuck yeah. Shin underscore GX resub with the two months saying Golden Kappa, you say. <laughs> say. Uh, JJ did 100 bitties, Beth with the 200 bitties, saying bitches, partial Persian with 100 bitties, Beth with the 200 bitties, Lightless Alter with the 5 gifted subs. Oh, fuck yeah! You crazy bastards. Wonder underscore Izzy with the sub earlier. Uh, Vex, she's gifted a sub to Mr. Pingin. Um, Too Tall, Too Tall, 63 uh, numbers in your name there. Uh, 100 bitties, Crazy Monkey with the 500 bitties. I'm gonna make sure I'm not like, you know, that things aren't just progressing in the game. I'm gonna pause it real quick here. Let me close that. Okay, we are paused. Good. <clears throat> uh, got Joe with uh, 100 bitties. Brain freeze with the sub. Dorkable, uh, Dorka gifted a sub to the cable guy. Uh, squeeze of on stream with some bits. 100 bits. Regnal over the 100 bits. A lot of bitties alerts. <laughs> All the stuff that was going through the the alert roulette. Big Lesbian with the 200 bitties. Jethead, 100 bitties. Bo Broody, 800, or Bo Broody, 80 with the 200 bitties. Arcane Object with the 5 bitties. Um, Conrado with the 5 gifted earlier. Oh, fuck yeah. There goes Seabird crapping out on me and not having the music play in the background. Fuck you. There we go, it's back. Trying to disturb my flow. You will not! Um, Night Fay Fox with the five months resub. Thank you very much for that. Vincent underscore XI with the five gifted subs. Oh, fuck yeah. Lord Razgris, 400 bitties. Hidden letter with the 100 bitties. Um, Girthquake with <laughs> nice name. 200 bitties. Um, Red X6 with the prime resub, 18 months. Just in case 303 with the five gifted subs. Oh. 
Um, Beth with another hundred. Partial, per partial Persian with 100 biddies. Eternals with some 100 biddies. Cohesion with 100 biddies. Danger Moose, 500 biddies. Oh, fuck yeah. <clears throat> Chat didn't go through for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. What? Oh, to get the. Yeah. You might have been at the tail end or something. Um, Your average guy gifted 25 uh, subs. <laughs> God damn. Oh, fuck yeah. So I'll put you down there. You're already in the Plan Guardian initiative, but you know, your underscore average guy, guy gifted 25 subs. That's marked. I am not, Yoji. <clears throat> no, we're playing this game solo. Right now, we're just shouting out a bunch of support that happened, so bear with anybody that's just tuning in. We'll get back to the gameplay, but I gotta give my shout out to everybody that helped do that crazy golden Kappa train all the way up to level 7. It's a lot of support. Serious Sam with the five gifted subs after that. Oh, fuck yeah! Uh, Mew Sophie, thank you very much for the sub earlier. Just comment with the 10 gifted subs. Holy shit! Oh, fuck yeah! I'm gonna snooze ads real quick, too. While we get through this. Sit tight, YouTube chat. <laughs> just comment. Let me mark you down. Uh, just underscore comment. Gifted 10. 4. 13. 24. Screen. Oh, sorry. You guys are in the void. My bad. You're in the void. You're in the void. We need to void our own void uh, emote for that. Screen works well, too, but... Crazy Monkey with a thousand biddies earlier. Thanks for the ten buckaroos and bits. Shaggy Pants with the ten gifted subs. Thank you very much for the ten gifted as well. Oh, fuck yeah. By the way, if anybody did get a gifted sub, please do say thank you to all the people that, that gifted those subs. Crazy. Mark you down, Shaggy Pants. Shaggy Pants gifted. Ten. If you're wondering what I'm marking down to, we have a thing called the Plant Guardian Initiative. Plant Guardians. Ten gifted subs, you get to be a uh, part of our garden, and you sponsor a plant, essentially. And then you get to see updates as it goes, when we do garden streams. Oh, okay. Well, like that! I'm the plant daddy! Thank you for- just like that. It works just like that. Right at the ads. Um, your average guy, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Jump in the thanks line. All right, there's a line of people, including yourself, that I'm trying to shout out here. 10 gifted subs. Uh, four, three. I should just copy that so that way it's easier to do. Bear with me while I get through shouting out everybody. There we go. My god, my freaking keyboard and fingers aren't working right now. Oh, okay, cool. We got that. Shaky Pants, thank you for that in 10 gifted. Uh, Jinx Pumpkin with the 200 bitties. Thunder Crash with the sub. Kaku Yoku with the 5 gifted earlier. Oh, fuck yeah! Hidden Letter gifted a sub to Angnor... Angnoran. Um... Pens Fan Ray with the 245 biddies. Eternus Dota with the 500 biddies. Simfire, 500, or 100 bits. Beth with some biddies. Jen Bogard with the sub earlier. Serious Sim with the 200 biddies. Ohio Navy Dad, 1,000 biddies. Thanks for the 10 buckaroos. Oh, fuck yeah. Judy Yang with the 100 biddies. Woojtron with the 5 buckaroos and bits right after that. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, Thunder, Thunder Crash with 1,000 biddies again. How's Mana Lord? Oh, it's great. It is great, actually. Danger Moose with the five gifted subs. Oh, fuck yeah. R Stat with 100 bits. The Trey Parks with the two months resub. Partial Persian with 100 bits. Squeeze of On Strange with the five gifted, or not five gifted, 500 bits. Oh, fuck yeah. God, it's, it's always hilarious to see the alerts fight each other. The audio, you know, just like trying to cope and then the lights trying to do it too. Serious thing with the 200 bitties. Gojian gifted a sub to Big and Fluffy. Uh, Jethe with the 400 bits, all access with the five gifted subs after that. Oh, fuck yeah! Seriously, with the 100 bitties, Judy Yang with another five gifted subs. Oh, fuck yeah! 
Red Panda Girl 29 of the 67 months. Uh, our set 90 bitties. The bees are coming with the 500 bitties. Warning us about the bees. Yeah. Emerald Guru with the 10 gifted 17 minutes ago. Oh, fuck yeah. When all that craziness happened. That's another plant guardian. Emerald Guru gifted 10. There you go. Uh, Charger Dude with the sub earlier, a part of the, the hype train. Dollars to Donuts gifted 10 subs as well. Another plant guardian putting you down here. Dollars to Donuts. Gifted. Boom. Uh, moving right along. Do not pursue with the 100 bits. Beth with some more biddies. He turned his out with the 500 biddies. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm gonna get through this, I promise. Hurst with a thousand biddies. Oh, fuck yeah. Thanks for the 10 buckaroos. Provi with 52 months saying, love my favorite streamer boy. Thank you. And, and RK. Thank you very much for the thousand. Damn it! Thousand bits! I hit the wrong thing! Hopefully it was short enough where DMCA didn't get us. <laughs> that button still exists. Uh Joe Boo with a hundred bits. Little bitties, 50 bits from Hearst. Uh 45 bits from Crazy Monkey. Star Wolf Lord with the 10 gifted subs. Ads in 30 seconds. Since I'm just shouting stuff out, I'm gonna let the ads run so that way you guys just get them. Hopefully I'll be done shortly after the ads. Star Wolf Lord! Thank you for that 10 gifted. Star Wolf Lord gifted 10. Uh, a tangy chick with the 200 bits, Slayer Damon with the 100 bits, Dan Perfectly with the 4 bits, uh, Star Wolf Lord with the 15 months, Danger Moose, 500 bitties, thank you very much for the 5 bucks. Oh, fuck yeah! Dash Rendar with the 100 bitties. Uh, curious where'd you get the ships in the background? Um, I got them from... One of them was like a comic shop that had them, and then another one... No, I think they both were from comic, like, nerdy stores, and they just happened to have some retro, uh, stuff, and I bought them up. I don't know if they're still available. You might have to find them on like eBay or something like that. They're the old kind of stuff that they used to sell. Orion Space Bar with the 500 biddies. Thank you very much for the five bucks. Oh, fuck yeah. Duct Tape CM with this sub. It turned his dough to five buckaroos and biddies. Oh, fuck <clears throat> yeah. Uh, T. Colbert, 37 months prime. Parties for pickles gifted a sub to Lilac, 011. Acceptance with the hundred buckaroos, the hundred dollars. The hundred smackaroos, you crazy bastard. Thank you very, very, very much. <coughs> Insanity. Uh, don't tell me to push this hype train by myself, they said. They did, by the way. Uh, slash Sabercat with some biddies. Noob Lord Taz of the 39 months. Welcome back. Just comment with the 36 uh, months as well. Saying chaos, lol, yes, thanks for the three years. Worm stash is 11 months. We're almost through this, I promise. Um, Shiny Jewel with 100 biddies. Eternus Dota with 10 more gifted subs. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, this is the perfect background music, I think, for this. Eternus Dota. 10 gifted, gifted, 10. Oop. Mark you down for Plant Guardians. Bob Rudy, 80 with the 200 biddies. Squeezel Von Strange, 500 bits. Kijito with the sub earlier. Kijito 11, or Kijito, I'm not sure which one it is. Acceptance, after saying, don't make me push this hype train by themselves. Another 100 bucks in biddies. Like a goddamn legend. Thank you so much again for that. Crazy bastard. <laughs> um, Dan the Fool with the sub 16 minutes ago. Avelar, 3,000 with the six months. Avenger, we already got you with the five gifted. Your average guy, 10 gifted subs. Oh, fuck yeah. I will mark that down. Was that a, was that a new alert? The fuck? <laughs> I'm so used to all these old alerts. 
Beard underscore average guy. Uh, 10 gifted subs. Marked. And then I think we're done. Dash Randar with 100 bits. Thanks for answering. You're very welcome. We're caught up! Magnificent Boo with the 18 months. Son of a bitch! I'm the plant daddy. Holy shit. <laughs> what a fucking night. Your average guy with the 10 more gifted subs. Hold on, it's a it's an air horn for each one. There you go. That's nice. Ten gifted subs again. Oh, fuck yeah. Please do say thank you to your average guy and anybody that gifted subs. Your underscore average underscore guy. Ten gifted subs. Boom. Thank you. Again, to anybody that was a part of that craziness and generosity, still thank you to all of you watching and just being here, because obviously without that, I don't have, you know, a career or a channel or anything like that. But that was something special. I saw the Golden Kappa thing pop up, I'm like, fuck. Well, you guys get as crazy as you want to. I, the goal for today, like every day, like we just we set it to 50 and see what happens, you know. Uh, we are at 253 new subs today, so that's pretty great. Yay! Thanks for all of that. Just watch your first eight hours, Gassy. I need the manor built. Well, you're gonna be happy in a moment here when I go back to the game. Whew! God damn, that didn't take too long, right? I don't think it took too long. The to shout through all that. Also through the groves. Special mention to through the groves for gifting a membership earlier. <clears throat> all that constant talking you can hear just junk in my throat. Anyways, if you don't mind, I'm gonna pee really fast. Uh, ads just happened, so I'm not going to run them. I'm going to pee super fast. And then we're going to go back to the game. I'll bring back the game volume and everything. We're here. We're going to play Manor Lords. We're, we're here doing the thing. Krillic! Thanks for the six months saying, not done yet. Thanks for the six months prime. It's been 84 years. Goddamn. All right, uh, let me tinkle real fast, and then we'll come back to playing some Manor Lords. Okay. Did you find a YouTube classical music list or mix? Are you talking about what you were just hearing there? That's Seaberg1000.com. It's great for background music. I think there's a command, exclamation point Seaberg. Spelled S-E-E-B-U-R-G. I think, if I know my command. Be right back, tingling. Get a special treat. Since you guys supported so much. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hello. Oh, God, that moved on me. Oh, you're a good boy. 
Look at this ball. Look at this ball. He's so big. I'm a big boy. I'm a big puppy. This is a little special treat because you guys gave a bunch of support. What you doing, bud? What you doing? Come here, let me show him how big you are. Come here. Come here. Don't try to fight. He's like, no. I don't want to be picked up. Look at this guy. Look at his little tail wagon. Look at his little tail wagon. You had a good time. You had a good time. Yeah. Boy, you're a boy. Go quick, what do you do? Ah, no, 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 come here. Come here. We're over here. Up, up. Up, up. up. Come on. There you go. You go, Oh, you can go. Come on. Go on. Anyways, that's Riker. I was surprised Yam didn't come over. She's probably just, it's probably because she's really snug and comfy uh, on the bed with, um, with Beth. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you again for all that support. That was insane. Red Smoke Toke, thanks for the 19 months! 19 months. You yeah, almost got me one more month, though, soon. That probably- that alert doesn't make a lot of sense for a lot of people, probably, you know. A lot of you know what that alert- alert is- is, uh, in reference to, but... For people that are, like, newer and have no idea about, like, the 20, 20 uh, month... Uh, whistle and all that stuff. Look, the manor's built! Someone in the YouTube was- was talking about that, I think. I think. Were they? It was. It was. It was Stiggy. Your house seems to be rather overgrown. No, I just like it like this. I didn't instruct the uh, my peasants to clear away the uh, the brush and stuff. I like to live. <laughs> they could have. They could have maybe uh, cleared that up. I don't know. I don't know if that's a reflection on how they feel about me, but. One thing I'm a little upset about with this manor... Okay, if you're too close to the manor, it just puts you in the manor. Maybe it centers on where the camera's looking. That's probably it. So look. Ha ha ha! I'm going back home to the manor! Hello, Clifford! That's Clifford over there! Wonderful! Here I go! Back to my house! Do -do 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 Ah! <laughs> guy's got a macho walk. Look at him. Uh, hey, Gassy, just thought you should know I love the streams and I'm wearing my Danger Sense hoodie from your D&D campaign. <laughs> That's cool. I don't even know where I have my... I think I had a Danger Sense shirt. I don't know where it is now. Winslow's art, by the way, thank you very much. For the, uh... For the two months. You've been sub for two months? Before or earlier, it wasn't even shown. Will you make a YouTube playlist from this gameplay? You mean put these, like, in a playlist on its own? Probably not! I mean, I, I guess I can if I, if I play a lot of it more, where there's, like, a significant amount of hours in it, then maybe I'll make its own playlist. But... It's just gonna- it's just in the live streams playlist. You know what I mean? You can just find it there. <clears throat> also, anybody watching on the YouTube stream or here on Twitch, just know that, like, all of the streams of recent for the last three and a half months <coughs> are on my YouTube channel. I don't know if a lot of you, some of you still don't know about it, and I don't blame you, but if you go to youtube.com slash gassy, not gazzy, gassy Mexican. Obviously, that's us live. 
but you go here to the live page. I wish it showed here on the videos page. It doesn't. You gotta go to the live page. And then you scroll down and, and there's all of the streams with all of our pretty thumbnails that we've made. There they are. Shut the fuck up about white mode! Shut up! Light mode, I should say. Exclamation point light mode in the chat. There's your, there's your reason why I'm in light mode, okay? I'm not going to defend it. Just watch that clip. Anyways, that's where it is. The live page, and that's where you can find all of our streams. VODed. They're on here on Twitch as well, but obviously YouTube's VOD system is better. So, that's why I mentioned. For most everything else, I'm in dark mode, okay? It's just, it's just YouTube that I have it in light mode. I will ignore the reasons and just complain. <laughs> Fantastic. As well you should, I suppose, eh? Um... Barley. Barley. You got one person there. We're gonna add a plowing station. That one has the highest priority, yep. That's good. Actually, you don't work. How do I stop them from... I'm trying to <clears throat> unassign him from... Let's do this. They got plenty of timber, so unassigned will go there. He's going to plow the field. Whatever. Ooh. Yeah, they need fuel. What do you guys have in abundance right now? You guys got timber. So we'll do that. We'll set up a barter real quick so that way they can get some fuel. Because they don't have the people to deal with. Um... Let's go here hmm. okay we still have vacancy here um you will provide firewood for some timber. Why can't I get timber back from them? I don't understand why that can be a thing. I guess wooden parts? That's not how... Mm. It's pissing me off. It's only firewood. I gotta pause this. Planks? They don't have planks. Planks is an upgraded version of the base wood wood resource timber. It goes timber, then planks. Timber also can be turned into firewood. <clears throat> I think timber is raw, since timber is a raw resource. So you can't trade raw resources. That's weird though. I, Cause like, stone is a raw resource. You know what I mean? Like, hide is a raw resource. It's very weird. I don't know if it's intentional or not. Or not. Because I feel like, I, and eventually in the game, you're going to want somebody to be able to... Is it because they don't have a mule? That might be why? <clears throat> I'm ordering a mule. I'm gonna 
nothing, I guess. So the pack station, again, we can't use it the way we want to. Why do I have to carry this alone? What else do they have? I mean, they could provide stone. For some reason, oh, they have bread. I'm gonna leave their food supply alone, though. I could get stone from them. Just to provide some, some fuel in the meantime. They have actually some people that can work the... We'll do that, never mind. It's not as dire as I thought. I didn't realize they had an abundance of people. Well, not an abundance, but they have people that are unassigned. So, that means we can have them go to... To the Woodcutter's Lodge. What is this? Forager hunt? should help their fuel. As long as we take care of it now, it should be okay, because we're in September, so. And then I guess for their hitching post. done, they can build another one of these. Or, we'll just expand the space. That should be fine. I was gonna say you need a woodcutter's lodge, but you figured it out. So smart, my lord, how silly of me. <laughs> that is true. No, I, I knew that we, we could do it with a woodcutter's lodge. The problem I was I was thinking is that we didn't have excess people. You know what I mean? We do have excess people, and once I realized that, I was like, oh, okay, then it's not a big deal. I think it's funny when chat RPs is like, <laughs> the villagers, the peasants of the town. Okay, what the hell are we doing? I don't know. All right, this happened. When that other livestock comes, I, eventually we're going to assign a, a permanent livestock here. You know what, I guess when that secondary one comes... When that secondary ox comes in on the next month, it just adds that livestock... I'm asking this, by the way. It adds that lav livestock to the inventory of livestock for this village, right? Even if it's assigned technically to the hitching post. And when that happens... What? Not enough... Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? We only have one ox there! Why is it telling me to go here? I'm so fucking confused. That's clearly glitched. Uh... Don't forget about the bandit camps. I'm gonna forget about everything. Oh, it's only one stable space. That's what it is. Okay. I thought it was two. Fuck. Okay, yeah, well, we're gonna have to build another stable, basically. Not a big deal, we can always change it later, but... That's highest. That's very high. And then this will be...
Okay. That's fine. Their fuel supply should improve. Excess goods need to be moved to a storehouse, otherwise workers may stop production, and the overflowing storage is vulnerable to the weather damage. I still don't really understand this, because this is saying my generic storage is full here. Incorrect. At least for the manor. I feel like that, that is glitched. Orders, I understand, the, the berries aren't there. There's 41 berries. Take away some people here because they're not even going to be able to do any foraging right now. Employ them at the charcoal kiln. In. I'm a little concerned about food for this. <clears throat> it's going to be imperative for us to get some actual, like, other food sources going on. I think we need to up our egg production. eggs are not going to be seasonal. That's like all the time, I'm pretty sure. These will be good for later. Like right now, they can't really grow much right now because it's just going to be going into winter and it's just not going to grow. I'm assuming that's affected by that as well, but like you will become eggs. Oh, we don't have the money for anything right now. Shit. I don't know what I can do right now for food for this. I think we'll be fine because it'll last for four months. The fuel... Eh, we'll see. That's why I put more people on the charcoal kiln. So that should help with fuel. <clears throat> maybe you need storage hut on the other- I mean, maybe, but like, the thing is, the storage hut is not- I still have the same storage hut that I've had. It's not even close to being full, you know what I mean? Maybe it just needs more workers? That could be it. For right now, let's just remember we assigned a bunch of people to the large storehouse. It's hitching post. This fucking guy's in, no one's even using this shit. Assign somebody that. It's a list. It's a logistical problem. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> do that. And hopefully that helps things along. We'll upgrade that when we have time too. Still figuring out that part of the game, you know what I mean? Like, what needs to be tweaked in order to solve X problem for certain logistical things. My approval rating's pretty good. They don't like the taxes, but whatever, I mean, we need the money, so. I feel like I've been pretty, pretty, pretty kind with a 5% tax. What if I bumped it to 8? 
You know what? I'm gonna take that hit. We're bumping it up to 8% land tax. <clears throat> the only thing, though, is... This goes into my personal treasury, right? If it doesn't go into, like... You know what? It doesn't make sense to do that, actually. Just, no, not zero. I mean, like... I got five. That's fine. Because if it went into the full regional wealth... Then I would mess with taxes and stuff. Okay, hold on. Amount of money... You can be used for import... Or convert, converted to treasury via the, the tax. Okay, so, so taxes will do that. Right? This isn't my personal wealth then. The land tax goes into this. Does anyone know? If it, if it goes into like the... The regional treasury? Because if it does, that's, that's good. I think it does actually. So I am going to bump it up to 8. Wish my tax was 5%. Tell me about it. Think you need to put a forester's cabin up by the berries so they grow back again? No, I don't think that's how that works. The berries just grow on their own. It's a berry deposit. The forester hut is just to pick the berries. They're seasonal, so since we've already harvested a lot, and we're starting to go into the like more winter months, I think it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, they're not growing back. Can't, chat can't do too much backseating. Yeah, I know, but a lot of people watch a lot of other streams. I'm just a blacksmith. I work with trinkets, tools, hammers, and a whole lot of army, lord. Also, if the scrubs in your manor bother you, you can remove them. Click the hammer icon, then all the way to the right is the brush icon, and click the bush picture to the right of the shrine. Oh, really? Some of these peasants know stuff. We'll put a shrine right outside my, uh, just cosmetic for now. Neat. That looks better. I forgot all about that cosmetic area there. And I intended to look at it, actually. Right, that, well, that tree's not going anywhere for some reason. Not a deal. Drinks on you tonight. Joke's on you. We're a dry village. We ain't got no goddamn barley for no malt for no ale. It's a dry village. Everybody's sober as shit. Unless they're brewing on their own in their houses. I don't know. We did have some fires not that far back. I'm starting to think maybe that's what it was. Holy shit, we have 113 planks. This guy's been doing crazy work. Insane. It'd be funny if that like just tripped him, he went, ooh. Good, we got the hitching post. Before our... Oh! It was delivered. Oh, 
I'm gonna bring some planks, maybe? How's the game? Seems a little slow. Um, I like it. Slow is not necessarily a bad thing. Assigned a livestock worker. Right, okay. Oh shit. Is, is this is this getting plowed now because of the livestock worker? Dude, that's so much faster. Holy shit! Look at that shit go! Because I assigned livestock to it, right? So now the, the, the shit's totally plowed for, for next. That's insane. Why did they stop? They take breaks, yeah. So now, will they just automatically go into sowing? Because we don't want to sow, right? We'd want to plant... at the beginning of next year, right? Isn't there combat? There is combat, yeah. But she just reminded me. I don't remember. I do. I've... Oh, they've just been sitting here looking at him. Take that bandit camp. Fuck these dudes up. Well, good. And you're gonna head up there. Go fuck those nerds up. Go on then. You're doing great. Love you, Spear Militia. Mm, kisses. I want to say that'll that they'll work on the fields accordingly. Okay. I don't know if that's how they go. Oh, you, they're rendered in now. Look at that. You're doing good stuff. Well done, Timothy. Well done, indeed. I told you I'd get you that mule, didn't I? Good. Plow on. Good. I'm gonna come out there and take a look. Plow faster! Plow faster! <laughs> Good. Plowing by hand. Is it, can you rename the townsfolk? I don't think I can. If there is a way to do it, I don't unassign oh, guiding an ox. Yeah, you can like look at them, but I don't think I can actually like rename them. You can indeed rename people and animals? How? How do I like select them individually? Name them from the building interface. Oh, they are sewing. Who's that out there? It's Heinz. Got 
to find Heinz. I don't know where Heinz lives. Heinz! Done. You haven't rendered back in. I don't know where you are. You're somewhere here. Oh, there you are. The GOAT! Thanks for making GOATed content during my middle school and high school era. You and the guys are awesome. Wish you all the best. Thank you, AKC. You're welcome to come on back anytime. We stream every single day, except for Sundays. So, I may stream tomorrow. It just depends. Um, but every day, except for Sundays, typically around 7 p.m. Central is when we are live. Both here on YouTube as well, or here on Twitch as well as YouTube. You're very welcome, by the way. Name the ox after me. Sure, brain. Now everyone wants to be named. I think I named everybody that w I said I would name in the in my personal guard. I think I did. What's it like living with cunts? Sorry, I'm late. This is sowing of the crops, me lord. Please spare me the whip and allow me to work whatever field needs working. Pray, lord, have mercy. Brain freeze. You can be the ox, sure. Oh, it didn't. I might have to enter something. Well, if they sow during this period, like... I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't... It's not updating the ox. I've named you. Won't fucking work! Penis butt. What do I gotta do to make it work? Or just go like that, maybe? And then it's penis butt? Nope. Oh, renaming animals doesn't save yet? Okay, well, whatever. No, it's the same ox. You can tell because it shows that it's employed there. Alright, they got fuel for four months now. I feel better about that. How's our food doing here? Um, okay, um... Shit. I'm assuming the only thing I can do for food right now, to like boost food rather, is, um, I don't have the money for it is the problem. Food might become a real problem for us soon. I'm not sure. Did our boys get to that other bandit camp? Surely they did. Go kill these dudes. Can you transfer wealth from your treasury? I don't know. You might be able to. No worries, Sylph. It was your first message. But it's all good, we love our lurkers. Get them! Um. Kill them! Kill them men! Fuck them up! They're only stupid brigands! Uneducated! Well, to be fair, so are you, but you're better in combat! 
Kill them now. Satisfy your lord. <laughs> I dance on their corpse in the blood. It's my thing. My cape has actually died in their blood. And let him get away. Good job, guys. I have a couple of theories like when people raise goats, the reason their lamb isn't in the market, maybe their families keep the lamb meat. Well, no. Yeah, I mean, when you're raising the goats, it's not, it, it tells you that it only gives you hides. It doesn't say anything about the meat, you know? Although you think you would get meat from that, right? <laughs> I guess so it's not so overpowered they just choose to make it hides. It'd be nice, though, even if you just got, like, a smaller percentage, you know? Maybe you didn't get, like, a full-on percentage of whether or not, like, if you were raising goats for just straight-up lamb, you know? You should be able to fight as the Lord. I big agree. I 100% agree. I think that'd be great. That'd be really sick. You're raising goat, you want goat's cheese? Hell yeah. Ads in 26 seconds. I'm gonna let him run. I'll go grab another beverage too, because this is pretty much done. Good. We become richer! Seems like the main way to increase your influence. There's other ways, you can do like, policies and stuff. I haven't done any, because... The two policies that are available are not great. Citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption, decreases approval. We might do that through winter. Um, I guess using any of these policies helps boost your influence. If I read this correctly, where it says required for dipl diplomacy and pressing claims can be gained from raising the settlement level, enacting a policy. Enacting a policy. So you get more influence for enacting a policy and conquering bandit camps. The main way, if you're not doing all the other stuff, is just get bandit camps. Also, upgrading the church to the highest level two is the biggest influence I've seen. Okay, we gotta do that. Which means we gotta get people into pottery, I think, right? Tell them to head back home. That's something I've been putting off too for a bit. Head back home. Ads are running right now, so I'm gonna pause. I'll leave you with the, the, the bomb music. Uh, I will pause real quick. And grab another beverage real quick. All of it done real quick. Clay, yeah, that's what I meant, Clay. I haven't fucked around with Clay at all, but now I have excess workers and things are in a good spot, so I'll do that when we get back. Remind me when we get back, we're gonna fuck around with Clay. We need to get our hands dirty with Clay. Wait a sec. I don't know why that auto mod protected you from saying Clay. Like, are you sure you wanna say Clay? That's a bad, I don't know, it's weird. We're right back. Did I stay tabbed out or am I tabbed in? There's your music. That's right, Roger's gonna eat clay.
the doggies to bed and also uh, let them out. Appreciate your patience. Okay. Clay, right? That what we're talking about? We're gonna mess with clay stuff. Are our armies back yet? You guys are still heading back, huh? Okay. Whatevs. They're still plowing. That's good. So they sowed a bit. <clears throat> I'm assuming then if it goes into winter, which it is gonna, right? Because we're in October. It keeps the sowing progress. So, when it becomes, you know... Okay. I just really hope we're able to get some barley. To finally have, you know, ale and have taverns. But this needs what? It needs... 10... of that thing of a bobber. Pin that for a second. into industry. Turn clay into clay tiles. Okay, it's clay tiles. It's not much to construct it. Clay furnace. So now, for the clay deposit, does it, it makes sense then to just have the clay deposit, like the furnace, near where the clay is, right? Like, there's no issues with that other than just, I guess, storage. I don't know if it works like Anno, like how the, or if this game works kind of like how Anno does, where if it makes sense to put like, you have your deposits of like iron over here and, and stone over here and all that, does it make sense then to have a storehouse right here? You know? I've built my manor, yeah. Richard, I will name a random villager for you, Sleepy Rick. So you, so the YouTube chat can have a little bit of representation here. Hans, who's over here. I guess he works in the Fletcher shop. Although I think you might be a lady. No, maybe not. Going home. What? Oh, he's already, you're already in there. Never mind. You're already at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, Vlad. Yeah, I don't know if Vlad's here. We should name another person. Look for Vlad. I can customize the rest of my people too. Uh, waiting. Everybody's going to sleep though is the thing. <clears throat> I wish you could just click on... It's got a magnifying glass like as if you can but... Yeah. I wish you could click on individual citizens like that. Or villagers. Do, 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 do. They're not doing any hunting, it seems like. Just strange. I feel like I need another hunting camp. Because one of them's working the, the stall. Hmm. What the fuck are they doing? The hunting limit's three, too. They should be... Like city skylines? What is?
What's your favorite food to air fry? I mean, we use it a lot for things like just getting frozen, you know, like already, like potatoes, um, potatoes, like chips and things like that, like fries, you know? We get like wedge, or what you, not wedge, like it would be considered chips in England, you know? Steak fries here. That's probably one of the best. It's also one of the best ways to reheat pizza, like leftover pizza to keep it crispy and nice. Uh, chicken wings is a great way to air fry cook them. No. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for pizza, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just gonna make another hunting camp, because I don't know what the hell's going on here. Is it because they don't have a path to the forest? I know they don't need it, but... I wish I had left space here. concerned about food. If I didn't have villagers making or, or uh, harvesting and, and doing vegetables and stuff, we would not have nearly as much food as we, like, it's like you really need to do that. Unless you're really thriving farming-wise with your RNG of, like, having fertile lands. But have our guys gotten back home, too, from the war? They're still traveling? Jesus. Okay, they're they're almost home. Never mind, never mind. They're not that far away. Wait a minute, that says 19 months. You always got me one more month though soon. Okay, go hunting. God damn it. I'll just sit around. Clay is what we we're gonna do, right? Did we find out? Sorry, you guys, I think you did answer before, but do you know that it is beneficial? I'm assuming, it just makes sense that it would. So if I were to build a clay working thing here, I'd put it out here in the trades. My clay furnace would go here. Do I just need a clay furnace in order to start harvesting clay? You need a mine? Oh right, I'm dumb. I need a mining pit. So I got a mining pit. Right. And then, um, the clay furnace. Does it make sense to have a storehouse here? Or just... Let it let them transport the shit back. To me, if it works like Anno, it makes sense to have another storehouse out here, so that way, logistically, they can just go right there. But they still have to go back and forth. I don't know. <laughs> Roger Digsby won't be allowed. Well, actually, you want somebody like Roger Digsby. No, you don't actually. You don't want Roger Digsby working in the clay pit because he's going to take away from your profits and the resources. Can't you use transport to deliver? I can. Yeah, I can.
The thing is, though, is like, if you put, if you make a storehouse here, if you put, dumb, my brain's not working well tonight. Um, if you put a storage place here, you still have to have somebody manage it and run it. You know what I mean? So it seems like in that respect, it's not worth it. It is worth it, I think, to have like the production of clay here. So when people report to work, it's all near each other, right? The storehouse would be a better option. Because of the fact that the storehouses, from what I understand, don't work. If you don't have somebody working in them. I don't want to do it, because then that takes away from my labor. You know what I mean? Like, my workforce. And that just seems stupid. Hey, we're getting more meat. Whatever, we know we're gonna have to do, uh, clay anyway, so... In a way, though, doesn't if we're gonna transport the clay anyways, I think it makes sense to just transport it back home. I, I think so. Like, just have people working in the mines, kind of like how we've done here too, you know. By that token, too, it probably makes sense to do this. Tomads with the 39 months, by the way, 39 months of us have a Saxon joke. In the Codex Exoni Exoniasis? Exonesis? A 10th century Anglo-Saxon poetry book. What hangs at a man's thigh and wants to poke in the hole that it's often poked before? Answer. A key. Susquins, thanks for the 19 months. Appreciate the, the, uh, the 10th century Anglo-Saxon poetry book joke. Susquins, thanks for the 19 saying, hi there, Sir Streamer. How goes the games going? How's the games going? Dude, I, tonight my brain is fucking mush. I'm just screwing up words. Uh, and how are you? The madam and the dog goes, we're doing good. Mickle32 with the 13 months, welcome back to the Sombreros. The problem is like my brain fucking, it, it just goes fast and my brain, and my um, my mouth can't keep up. It's been a long few days, yeah. I was telling Beth, I was like, when I was in the break, I was telling her, I'm like, sometimes I'm worried, it's cause of stupid fucking TikTok, I'm like, it was one of those posts where it's like, what's true, what's scary, but true, or whatever, you know, and it's like... People who have dementia, or whatever, and I apologize if this hits a, it's close to home with some people who have, like, family members who, who suffer dementia. That, uh... You know, those that have it often have it, like, way, way earlier than they obviously get diagnosed. They just don't realize it because their brain is fighting like hell to, like, compensate, you know? And when I have these moments... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I really hope this shit isn't like an early onset sign that I'm just shrugging off that I'm gonna get dementia at some point. 
I know it's not most likely, but you know. Such is the way of, you know, seeing something. It's like I accidentally saw WebMD search. Do you know what I mean? You more than likely have ADHD. Who doesn't have ADHD? I constantly fear that. Yeah. Span that unit. If I have a... Oh, okay. I don't think I have another point. No. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. You probably do have ADHD. I wouldn't be shocked. What does that mean? What does that mean? Help find a lost old lady just earlier today. Her son was walking around looking for her and, and recognized the look on his face right away. I um, I think mainly what it is is I'm a streamer and you know we we whether people <laughs> agree or not we use a lot of brain power to multitask and try to like focus on stuff, especially when you're playing games like this. And it really does drain your brain juice very quickly. Um, and then you get frustrated with yourself. And then you start getting in your own head sometimes and you stumble. And that can be frustrating. But then, you know, you forget that. And then you see something stupid on fucking TikTok. It's just like, well, actually, you know, people with dementia, early onset Alzheimer's, like, oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <clears throat> going between the game, between the audience, making sure that... Let me tell you what's going on in my brain. I'm not going to scream or anything, but that happens sometimes. Ah! Any given time when I'm streaming, especially when I'm streaming something like this, where I need to pay attention a lot. Like, okay, I gotta... Wait, we gotta try to get the fucking farms going. Alright, Clay Pit. Alright, what's going on? Someone in the chat says someone popped a reset. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, your phone went off. Beth needs something, I think. Oh, is she good? No, she's good. She's just saying goodnight. I should make a note. I should go say goodnight to her. <laughs> Maybe I do a fucking ADHD, I don't know. <laughs> How long have I been streaming now? Is it time for an ad break? Mm, it's getting close to an ad break, I should... <laughs> That's why I can't smoke weed very much. Because weed, while it can be enjoyable sometimes, depending on the strain or whatever, or what mood I'm in, it takes the thoughts that spread already quite a lot, and just each branch off goes even more. And I, I can't do it. There's a lot of similarities. Yeah. Maybe I do. I don't think, if I have ADHD, I don't think I have severe ADHD. Because that, I've, I've, I've seen, and you know, uh, I've seen people and known people that have that, and I don't, I don't think I have that. But one of the more most underdiagnosed conditions in adults, if you made it through adolescence without uh, a diagnosis, as the stats say. Oh. ADHD is more of a spectrum like autism. Yeah. Get the neural link for infinite brain juice. <laughs> Elon Musk. No. You want to see Max stoned? I bet it'd be hilarious. I am hilarious when I'm stoned. Ask my wife. <laughs> I am. Yeah, yeah low, I got lowercase ADHD, not in all capitals ADHD. <clears throat> the fuck were we doing? Clay! To be fair, you're hilarious when you're not stoned too. No, I know. Oh, believe me, I know. I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> it's just different. It's always funny when people think I'm drunk when I'm not. 
Because I'm just being, like, silly. Is this guy drunk? No. Um... Make it like a high priority, I think. And then we'll make the clay works over here. I'm gonna make the decision that we're just gonna mine the stuff and bring it back here. <clears throat> They're probably gonna take this route, so. We'll have the clay furnace here. This is supposedly where the berries grow. I don't know if it's a great spot for that. I'll just put it here. Is this affecting the berries growth too, by the way? Because I put stuff here? I just thought about that. Now it's 0 of 64. I feel like it probably does. And now I feel like I should move this. Or is that damage done already? Fuck. Hmm. We'll see what happens then. It is late fall, so. You have ADHD and Asperger's Syndrome. I can't hold a conversation longer than 10 minutes and I get it and I understand. Yeah. Some streamers have said that streaming is harder than uh, 9 to 5 and it's true if you think about it from research I did and heard from other streamers and content creators but keep up with awesome work. Um, it definitely presents different challenges. I don't want to say it's just outright harder. It's not as easy as a lot of people think, at least at a high level when you're doing it, like, as your job job. Because I do it at a high level, you guys. I'm a successful high level streamer. I'm just so good. Yeah, weed affects everybody differently, Blentilda, for sure. Like, I, I get it. A lot of people use weed to kind of, like, mellow them out and, and, you know, calm their brain. It's just, it just depends. This flute track is popping off right now. I don't think we need as many people hunting now because we replenished a bit more food. Still says three months for food, dude. We're we're getting to it. I don't. Shit. Why they hunted till two? The hunting limit's supposed to be three, you guys. If they hunt all the animals, will all the wild animals go away? Or do they just come back anyways? You spend hella more than 40 hours a week uh, at it, hard facts to stream. True. Long hours. It's not just being on stream, too, that... That's just a, a part of it, right? Especially if you're somebody who's like me. It's not as fair to say, I guess, nowadays, because I don't do as much uh, YouTube, like, video work as I used to in the past, but I, it's definitely not nothing, and I'm, I'm working to get YouTube back into the workflow and utilize uh, the YouTube channel more. It's been a big help having, um, you know, being able to multi-stream both to YouTube as well as Twitch. There's a lot of shit, though. There's a lot of shit. Okay, let's check in over here. The fields are plowed. They're growing stuff. Why are they trying to grow stuff? I feel like this is going to fuck everything. I don't know. I'm just going to let it go. They didn't even fully sow this. At least they almost fully sowed this.
You can take them off the farm if it's not farming season. Should I do that? Should I just take them off the farm right now? There's only one guy, one family. The sewing progress isn't even like right here. I could just put pause, right? I wish I could specify like, yeah, sure, continue to sew this, continue to sew this. Hmm. I don't understand how it works properly. I get it a little bit, but I, I gotta figure out how to fine tune it so that way it's more advantageous with like the seasons. Cause there's shit already growing. <laughs> I mean, I guess it wouldn't be the worst if just like, we just see what happens. And then when it becomes like prime time for farming as the next year rolls around the season, just start from square one. You have them do the hard part at least? Yeah. I'm just going to leave it alone and just see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't screw everything up, but... What else could be happening here? Do you guys have hides from, from the goats? You do, you have 12 hides. Good. Firewood stall, food stall. Trades. Somebody use a tannery. Yep. Let's do that. Did you guys build that? Almost. Things are going well in Albondigas. Should have, uh... Yeah, they should get some... Some wild animals, some hunting going on here, too. As they grow. At least one person doing some hunting. Banded hunting again? Boy. 
Bitch boy. What kind of army can they raise? Oh, I can raise it from either of them. Albundigas or wherever. Is that true? Oh, I can. Neat. Copy this way they look. An arm, Sophie. Oh, okay. So I can actually do that with my own money then. Y'all having some ADHD chats and stuff in chat? <laughs> Sorry, I paid attention to the game a little bit here and I'm like, oh shit, that's a lot of blocks of text. Joe McNulty, thank you for the gifted, not gifted, 10 month resub. Bottom right is the personalized armor thing. No, no, I know that. I wish I could copy like, you know, and, and, and apply it to these other guys. Do you know what I mean? Rather than having to individually do it. Let's do that, sure. Fuck it. There you go. We've upgraded to the max that we can't afford. What the hell? It didn't... I think Squeezel Von Strange wanted to be in Winslow, right? Winslow. There you go. Squeezel Von Strange, I think, was the other. We love multi-streaming. Hell yeah. You can build cool armies in this. Should we have them all be the same look, basically? How come some of them have other options that others do not? Do they actually have different specializations? Not all your troops. I don't think you can customize all of them. I think it's just a thing for... for your personal guard. I think. I'm confused as to why I have more options here and not here. I'm gonna play around with that more. Is it just the body type or something? 
But it's not giving me the same amount of weapons that I can mess around with. Or is it because there's just not enough swords? are about to start. I'm going to snooze them for another five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winslow, yeah, the name Winslow makes me think of um, Michael Winslow. That guy looks very intelligent and not confused at all. What the hell am I holding? How does she keep mine? That made of wood? Yeah, I think it's made of wood. Pretty sure. Huh. <laughs> Smells like shit in here. What? What is that in my hand? Huh? <laughs> He's good to go. We shall don the colors. Red coming from what? There we go. I just changed it to white. Now to blue. There you go. Glitching out there. Hopefully this is entertaining for you. to look uniform because it'll look cool when we actually rally them and summon them. And we will. We'll have them go deal with the uh, the bandits. My personal guard. Bit overkill, but whatever.
This track, and a lot of the music actually, kind of reminds me of when you're playing, um, For the King 2. Or For the King 1 for that matter, but it's a lot of that kind of, you know, stuff. Ads are about to happen in 40 seconds. I'm going to get up and say goodnight to the wife. Copy and paste function will be useful for body. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying before. I, was, I hope they uh, they implement that because it would be nice to be able to just copy and paste this. Fucking face, man. <laughs> it's a very intelligent looking expression. The colors are wrong. There you go. Prepare yourself for advertisements. You shan't miss anything. There. Please tell me it saved all that. I think it did. Good. All right, ads are about to run. You're right back. Let's say goodnight to the lady. I know it's an old game, but you, did you play Kingdom Come Deliverance? I don't know if I have. I'm familiar with the name, but I'm not sure. That is true. You don't want your conscripts to think too much right, if you're... But they're my personal guard, they should have a little bit more brain power, you know what I mean? <laughs> but... Whatever. You want them to do. That guy with the, the expression we saw, he's a doer. He doesn't think too much. Oh, dog hit! You know?
I wanted a snack because I don't have time to make dinner or do something like that. Or heat up something because I'm already too long away from streaming. I grabbed a pickle. I remember we had fucking pickles. <clears throat> Alright, game pause. No. We made that. Good. nothing to hunt. Should have cut some cheese to go with your pickle? Eh. Would have taken too long to find the cheese. Hey, there's my track. Me doing the backing vocal there. Understand the ones that are without assignment, they'll help with also trans transportation. I think. I'm gonna help with mine actually. Work lab is near, near a small grocery. I'm usually snacking on grapes and other fruit. Get those late night urges for snacks. Yeah. My snacks usually are like nuts. You know? If I have pickles, maybe I'll snack on a pickle. I'll also sometimes grab, like, if I have lunch meat or whatever, I'll just grab the lunch meat. <laughs> grab lunch meat and, you know, whatever. But uh, usually it's like different types of nuts, like pistachios and cashews. Hazelnuts, etc. I have a lot of those. It's easy for me to just like on a break. I just go to the pantry and just grab like a handful just to hold me over. Pickles don't last long. I just fucking eat them. What's happening in the land of Albondigas? Oh. So I'm concerned that since it's I just don't know, because winter's gonna come, and then it- I'm assuming that just kills whatever crop was there, and you have to start from the beginning. I could always just force early harvest, and have them... Yeah. We're not there, though. We're getting close. Minimum growth needs to be at 
Do it. Go, 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 go. We're in December. Fucking get to 15% so I can force early harvest. Otherwise, all that's gonna be wasted. Taxation. Mm. God damn it. The cold months will be coming. Fifteen percent force early harvest. Go. Get out there. It does say whatever month it is in the bottom right. It doesn't tell you what day it is as far as I know, but it tells you what month it is in the bottom right. See the little Take snow symbol in December. Warm. field? No, this isn't at 15%. That one's just, I don't know, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen with that one. Highest priority. Fucking early harvest. Do it. It's still growing. Threshing priority. Medium. I don't understand this. The snow's coming, you need to harvest! How's the game so far? I'm enjoying it a lot. And also, how did I get early access? I am a content creator that works in the game industry. I have contacts and they, they reached out and said, do you, want a, do you want a key? Check it out. I'm like, yes, indeed. Because I'm so good at my job, and so well respected, they're like, this guy, we should give him a key. <laughs> I think they're actually sending me to a, uh, like a little care package with probably some merch or something from the game. Which I'm excited about! Especially when it's a game that's not crap, we like that. Threshing is getting the grain off the plant. So I want them to... Yes, high. Threshing priorities high. No one's listening to me though, they're not... Early harvest, you fucks! What are you doing? Why are you all waiting? I think we waited too long and now it's fucked. Yeah, apparently it's just nap time. Nobody works. Nobody wants to work. That's the problem with this generation. 
Maybe too cold to work. Whatever. I just I'm gonna call this a failure. And then we'll just we'll we'll redo it next next season. If even if it means we have to if I could s solve this, I'm so tired of seeing generic storage full. Excess goods need to be moved to a storehouse, otherwise workers may stop production. And the overflowing storage is vulnerable to the weather damage. I feel like this is glitched. Because what the fuck are you talking about? Generic storage full. It's not! It has to be a glitch. It has to be a glitch. Every time I investigate the houses that have that, the buildings that have that, it, it's always plenty of capacity. Did you save and reload? No. Make more storage. That's not the that's not the issue. That it, do, it doesn't you don't under, you're not understanding. The issue that they're describing is not actually showing visually. So maybe it's either a visual glitch or the game's just glitching and, and not working properly. I don't know. Because it doesn't make sense. That is a bug, the other streamers have seen it too. It's detecting the log storage as generic storage and giving you the notification. Mm. So I just ignore all of that, basically. <clears throat> I guess that works. Unless it pops up again, I don't know. Hey, you, you completed your hunting camp, good job. Tried to carve me a new nipple! It's still growing, which is weird. I don't know if barley grows technically through the winter months as well, but... I forced it on early harvest. Resting at home. Good. Glad everyone's nice and well rested. barley is the thing. Barley can go through. You know what? I'm not going to force early harvest. Fuck it. They're not doing it anyway, so just leave it as is. Just let it do what it's going to do, right? How is our production of clay going? Okay. Oh, clay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, there it is again. Yeah, it's because it's reading the log, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm just going to ignore any of that then. Goats, 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 go, 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 goats, 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 goats. I'm gonna have you do veggies. So that way, when when that happens, be good to go. To good to goat. I like that having the the homes that people live in, also having like their own little little homestead that a little uh stuff like that.
We gotta go kill those bandit camps. What better time than to summon... Than now, to summon our, uh, our guard. They're down here, so we'll summon them up this way. Rally point. So I'm assuming it just shows up as roof tiles. Oh. I'm assuming the production chain hasn't hit yet. Are these guys just running? No, 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 three. You guys don't need to run. Don't run. You're going to exhaust yourselves. Holy shit. more like a mining pit less than a corpse pit. Thought there would be bodies there. Any idea on how much this game will cost? I want to say last night people were saying that the devs was speculating around like 30? Does that sound right? Which I feel like is totally reasonable for what I've been playing. I'm assuming their effectiveness is also just shit right now because because it's cold. Thirty is reasonable. Even like I mean, even if it was forty, I'd still think that was pretty good. But they're also running. True. Yeah, I'm gonna give them a sec to just hold, hold, and and see if they can regain some of their strength back. They look cool though, eh? Yeah, they're getting better now. Are they standing in the stream? What the hell? Oh! There's a stream right there. I didn't know that. I thought that was a road. It's a little river. Huh. I didn't fucking know that shit. Heavy infantry. Yes. Hmm. Be cool if you can interact with the town on the ground in your human form instead of being in god mode if they made this like sims version that would be pretty cool i mean you can still go down they stole three tools You can still go down on the ground, but yeah, I, I was I was saying that too. I would like for them to have a bunch of um, stuff you could do to interact. Right now, you can like it's it's cool. You can do this. I like that. But I'd like to have some stuff I could do, even if it was just like nothing super significant, mainly just like mini gamey stuff or just things I can interact with. But yeah, that would that would be cool. It'd also be neat too, as if you like walk around and like, oh, me lord, you know. I the lord of the manor. You know? Fuckers. I could shoulder check them.
Get down there. Is it still growing, by the way? It is still growing. That's interesting. This one, I guess, just died off or something? I don't know. I think it's because it didn't reach the minimum level of growth. I don't know. Did that bandit camp go away? Cause... No, it didn't. Two battles. We need fucking horses for our guys, man. Cause this is torture. I'm telling them to just go through the, the winter. They're doing it. They're trudging through. Gassicus is fuck boys. Little bow from the townsfolk would be cool when you walk by them or at um or they ask to see you they're still in the market. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Little tiny stuff, yeah, exactly. Little little tiny bonuses where it's like kinda worth it to do it, but you know, nothing super significant where it's game breaking. Kill this guy! Kill him! Can they mount horses? I don't think so. I'm gonna fast forward because I want to see this guy. Oh, we completed something? Ah. Uh. Good. House food and everything here. Great. Seems like our hunting camp isn't really doing much, so that's that's cool. Good job there, good job. That's pretty damn detailed, honestly. Part of me wishes I had a cinematic camera. Oh, space bar has been paused this entire time. Well, I'm an idiot. Like, for zoomed in all the way, this does not look bad. For this type of game. Trying to see if there's a HUD. That kind of dis, uh, disengage. Doesn't seem like it. Any idea what game engine is? No. I personally don't know. No. That looks cool. Oh shit. A hunter's is going for him. Where is he though? He's like somewhere back here. Hell yeah, buddy. Way to go. Look at the skybox. That's not even that bad, too. 
Sneaky, sneaky. There's a southerner that has way too much venison waiting to be eaten. Well done, buddy boy. There's our guy. Have a look at that meat. Mmm, delicious. That's crazy detail. He hunted that shit, brought it over here, and I'm pretty sure this guy's bringing it to his stall. They're all getting up to is pretty fucking crazy. Or he's taking it to a storehouse. Or he's taking it to a cart? Maybe? What'd you just do? You just put it on the ground! Where'd the meat go? Bro! I know you're not going home. I saw what you did, you little shit. Oh yeah? Job done for the day? Let me in, I want- Conveniently hit it nearby home? Hmm? Buried in the permafrost to preserve it. Yeah. Is that what we think happened? Where's our bros fighting? Hey, they're almost there. I think we already killed him. We lost a guy? Fuck, I think we lost a guy. To bandits? Maybe the snow. I don't, I don't know. Could very much be because we have not been very, uh... You know what? You guys go home. We'll have- we'll have the other guys take care of this. It's fine. Plus, they can deploy, like, closer, so... We'll have them do that.
Listen, he lost him the bandits and he was clearly his weak, weakest link. True. We have six roof tiles. How much is it to upgrade this shit? Alright. Almost enough. Food's not looking good. Food's pretty okay here. Hmm. Here, let's do... We're going to send planks. They'll send us food. What kind of food over there, though? What are they most in abundant in food? Bread. Have them send the bread. That's like the initial bread they got, I'm pretty sure, too. Is this not working then, or? The barter value needs to match. I don't understand the barter system, yo. All I know is there's gonna be a problem out here if we, ain't, we can't So the food we have right now will get us two months. I mean, that seems okay. You know what we could do, though? I think that's what we're going to do. We haven't enacted a policy at all, just to make sure. Citizens give every fifth meal, reduces food consumption, decreases approval. Whatever. Fuck it. We're fasting, y'all. We gotta do what we gotta do. I'm pretty sure we'll make it anyways, even without the fasting, but, you know, just to be safe. That bandit camp exists to dust. Kill them. Right, let's let that shit go. So little food, it's crazy. Thank God we have the veggies and like eggs and stuff, you know. Ninety-four leather. 
42 clay. I'm going to keep building up that clay stockpile. necessary with any like new stuff we have to just make it like veggies and stuff some buildings may be requirements to be upgraded to level two I know that but I'm just I don't know if I want to do that is it gonna create more problems I mean, I guess it'll generate more... I guess it's something to do with the wood. Only put good homes. Please, sir, may I have some bread? You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like that, wouldn't you, you dirty peasant? Hey, you guys got back. Good. so far away from home. The battle shall happen in the forest. All right, gentlemen. I want a good, clean fight. Together. Understand? I'm just kidding. Fuck them up. Kill them, bitches. Kill them. Get them. Hoist the banner proudly. Huzzah! They shall rule the day they ever think they could steal three hammers from us. <laughs> Stab them extra to make sure they're dead. What the fuck are you guys doing? Why aren't you helping your friends? Oh 
kind of shitty fucking hits are these? Ah. Round them up, round them up, they're only brigands! Speed it up a little. Oh, that's nutty. Look at that. Shows the blood and stuff. Huh. That's a neat detail. All right, then. Let's go take their camp. I saw the deer's migrate. Means we have enough too to claim an area again. Technically. I don't think there's any other bandits out here. Nope. All right, come on back. March! I guess the next one that would be prudent to get would be here, because it's huge. And adjacent here. What are y'all doing? Claiming, do you have to fight the Lord? If I'm claiming an area that is not claimed, no. However, the more I claim stuff, I'm assuming the more I'm pissing this guy off. I have to imagine. Ads are about to run, by the way. <clears throat> it really feels like they're coming straight to me. I think they're just moving. They're just passing through. Fertile.
You guys gonna make it through the winter? I think they'll be all right. Just fast forward. The winter sucks. Food cell supply. Mm hmm. Well, that, that is that is the case, isn't it? I don't know what to tell you. Hunters are doing their thing. Have you built a windmill yet? That'll convert the wheat into flour. Well, we're not farming wheat. We're farming barley, right? So what's the production like for that? You still need to use a mill to No. There's no there's no windmill needed. I mean I guess that's if we wanted to do like I don't know how much it's gonna provide, you know what I mean? Like the the uh the fields that we have. Like we could technically have this be barley and this be like some sort of wheat. Yeah, we're doing barley because we want ale. We want to have a tavern. To boost people's moods. And to be able to get fucked up. You know? <clears throat> oh shit! Thank you for the raid. Paul Taggers with the... <laughs> I almost said gifted. Uh, with the... <laughs> with the raid, thank you very much. I don't know if you were playing this, but if you were, how'd you like it? And if you weren't, what were you playing? <laughs> we are gonna need a malt house for this. So I suppose it... Makes sense to just make it now. Caught your first episode party, the watch party? Wow, that show's good. Yeah, it is, dude. Holy crap. Wouldn't be the first time and no, I was uh was playing Fallout 76. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be playing more Fallout 76 as well. Also because they have like a supporter creator thing where like up until I think later this month, uh you if you gift a sub um while playing that while you're in, you know, while you're playing Fallout 76, you get a special backpack. Which is kinda cool. Earlier today, we tonight we had the we had a golden kappa hype train. It was pretty fucking crazy. It was very cool. If you got any of those golden kappas, show your golden kappas in chat. Go build that malt house, people. You already binged the series twice. Damn. I know me and Beth are gonna do a bunch of binging of the series tomorrow. We've just been busy. We watched that, that one night. And then, um... New family moved in. New family moved in.
This farm down here has been doing nothing. I mean, I, I guess down here they could try to grow wheat. <laughs> it's a big field. No spoilers, the show is so accurate to the game while being a good show to, uh, still. I was so impressed. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people have been saying it's, like, easily the best video game adaptation they've seen. And that's what my impression was of the first episode. No spoils on anybody that's binged it and shut. And everyone's been pretty respectful of that, too. Please don't spoil. Both for my sake and, and anyone else, but... Yeah, I mean... It looks like it's gonna be really good. So I saw you can limit work areas. If you go to, like, uh, I guess advanced. You can limit work areas. So if I were to, like... I could just have him be like, I'm gonna... You just use work here. And then they won't work the rest of the field. It's interesting. Hunters, what are we doing? Get back out there. Ooh, shit, we have enough to upgrade the church, too. Yeah, I know we're running out of food. We're only gonna make it one month. That's nutty. They're on strict fasting. Take it easy, Paul. Have a going. It's game over once you run out of food. Um, I don't think it's game over. It just means, yeah, you might have people dying and shit. So we were trying to trade with Albondigas for bread. I trade like stone. I have no idea how this shit works. This has to be like... Moving things between regions, the exchange of goods need to match. For instance, if you exchange iron, let's say 14 silver per unit... Wait, what? If you exchange iron at, let's say, 14 silver per unit for firewood, it's 7 silver per unit. The barter value is two times. You get two firewood for every iron. get how this shit works. I would love to be able to trade easily between my two regions, but do not know how. I'm just going to fast forward until it's happier times. Maybe people will starve. I don't know. Oh no, we got some infusion of meat, maybe? Something. Eggs? Maybe the eggs is... Did I save us? I don't know. the barding the barter stuff worked I, I still don't do you do you guys understand this 
the barter system. I like, I understand it on a base level. I just don't understand why they're not doing anything. Like we have livestock that can, that can help. Do I have it backwards? Our barter partner is Obundigas. So we're gonna send them planks. We receive bread. I don't know what I'm doing wrong to not get it work. To, <laughs> to not get it work. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. It doesn't work. I don't know how to make it work. There's somebody that's assigned to it. I don't know if I need to uh, assign, like, dedicated livestock. I don't think so. Shouldn't work that way. They have bread. I double check that. They have 23 bread. So I was trying to have them send some of their excess food here. They don't need a pack station, too, I don't think. Otherwise, it would save. Also, I think I, I postulated that as well before yesterday when I was talking about doing a pack station and people said, no, you don't need that. That wouldn't make sense. I'm going to do this and see if this makes a difference. There. Nope. We don't have enough for that. Never mind. Whatever. Get us out of fucking winter, please. How's the barley growing? Yay. Things are starting to melt. Yay. Oh, where did our guys ever end up? Oh, you guys gotta keep going. Sorry. Go further up the road. You had to get home before you can disband, apparently. I thought you just needed to be in your controlled area, but apparently that's not the case. Says storage, nothing stored inside. What? How long until winter's over? It's about to be over. See? I think the eggs literally are saving us. Yeah, we're getting we keep getting an infusion of eggs and then we're saved. I should have them do wheat. If this whole field is gonna be barley. The idea was to have a lot of barley so that way I could send ale, but I don't even know if I can send ale now. You know what I mean? Let's do wheat.
one. I'm also going to getting rid of the tithe stuff on that. So that way that should help the food. I forgot we had that going, so like 8% of our food was being given to the church or whatever. Yes, grow things. We need veggies for the love of God. <laughs> You make pancakes? Sure. an industry that could spare some stuff. We have so many planks. So... Don't need anybody working saw pit right now. You're good. At ease. Logging camp here. Another logging camp here. Right now, they've still just been grabbing a bunch of coal, or sorry, uh, clay. That's a lot of clay, so I think I'm gonna pull some, pull some dudes off that. We'll see if we can make anything happen, I guess, with this farm locally here. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't put the combat in this close to an RTS. I think it's more of like... Inspired by things like Total War, but not as in-depth, but similar. You're not upgrading level 2 housing? Let me just focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm going to eventually. I just didn't want to overload or, you know, fuck with anything. Now I have, like, a shit ton of timber. Hi, Roger Digsby. I hope you're feeling well jolly today. I'm catching up on Ecovid VODs. Hell yeah. Yes, he's always jolly. We do have someone working at the church. Get on out there. Or don't. No, no, no one's working there. I, oh, there they go. They're doing it by hand, though. I think it's because we just don't have enough livestock for it. Like, we had a dedicated livestock. I think I will order another ox.
I love the gradual voice change of Roger, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool if you capture people from other camps or whatever, you know, and kind of bring them into the fold so you get more workers. It takes so much longer to do this without. What's going on in over yonder? Hey. Both stock is getting... Huh? I think that was a glitch. Oh, it's because it's over full. Wait. Wait, it's working. Wait. They have planks. How do they have planks? Did they actually do the storehouse thing? Or it's... Must have, right? Rest until he healed. Oh, he did? He transported. So that means we must have gotten some bread. We did. It worked. I don't know how or why, but it did. He got hurt, apparently. Hmm. Y'all got planks now. Which means... You guys can upgrade this to a small stable. I think we also just got... Livestock. Yep. Watch the shit fucking fly. Or not. Plowing progress should go much faster. Good. We sowed that stuff, so now they're growing. So we got wheat growing over here. Just growing here. Uh, this storehouse got super full, though, because of all that, huh? Oh, I never upgraded it to a large storehouse. Okay. Oh, no one's working the logging camp, that's why. Uh 
Upgrade the church. Do it. They actually plow the... Oh, they're doing it. Yeah, they're turbo plowing it now. Heck yeah. That's a big field, though. <clears throat> nice. Clearly we need more storage. Boom. There's some growth happening here. A little bit, I think. A teeny bit. Still plowing away in the rain? Perfect. And construction on church? It's a big construction job, I get it. We should get a big bonus from that. People should be happy about the lard! Haven't been watching long, but getting Anno 1800 vibes. Yeah, it definitely shares that. Makes me want to play a city builder. There's, yeah, this is still early access for sure. Um, I know they have plans to make a lot of it. A lot of it, even when you're looking through it, it says work in progress, or it says WIP, which means work in progress for a lot of stuff where it's like, for now, work in progress. It's just gonna get better and better. Our food should be shooting up now. As vegetable, yes, look at all those veggies coming in from just local garden stuff. Eggs, all that stuff, that's what we need. All right, how's the farm? We fully plowed, we're sowing now. We are sowing, good. Good, good, good. actually making use of that. That's crazy. So we should have a lot of wheat to turn into bread. Which means actually we should get prepared for that. Yep. Turn it into grain. Into flour. Flour into bread. church, though. It'll be a while before any of that even gets harvested, so whatever. Not a big deal.
Things are going well-ish. Church is almost done. Everyone should be very happy about that. It's a fancy looking church. We're still trading for bread. I don't have any more bread now, so I think we should just stop that trade. That does mean, though, that we'll be able to trade for the malt that we need and all that. Yay, it's all sewed, pretty much. Almost done. Yay. Come on, guys, finish the church. I'm doing it. Morning, Max. Enjoying the game? I am, Lars. Level 3 churches with scarcity on cost? Oh, jeez. I don't even want to think about that. Finish it, goddammit. Kill those fuckers. Don't run. This church is still not done? You fucking kidding me? What are you waiting on? The stone. It's a good thing we already have people going over to kill them. Stole food from us. We're growing. We have zero meat. Um... I think we hunted them to extinction. I don't know how it happened. Well, way to go, hunters! You had limits! How did that happen if I had limits? On both of the hunting camps. Well, shit. <sighs> okay. Did 
Did they migrate? I don't know if they can migrate. Well, I think they migrate within your, your area. They don't just, like, migrate to another fucking territory. I think something just screwed up. Well, I have vacancies, I guess. Maybe a glitch? That's what I'm thinking. Because mm. both hunting camps should know that, okay, once the population of the, the you know, the animals gets to three don't hunt anymore there's sheep farm I don't know if there's like a pig farm or anything like that I don't think we can actually farm animals other than just like we can get sheep but I think we're just gonna have to go more into farming as opposed to like meat stuff, at least for, for our main stuff. Maybe reload the save. Ah, uh, I don't know when it happened is the thing. But that really fucking sucks. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I have this wheat going here. Let's just load. Last autosave was what? Let's just load the last autosave, whatever. Nope, they're definitely hunted to extinction. Well. That sucks. I mean... I guess we can establish... Might be even more important for me to claim this. Yay! Small stone church, everybody's excited about it. What is the benefit of having more people in the church, like working the church, you know what I mean? Fighting? Fighting? Oh, fighting. They made us lose one guy? Embarrassing. Two guys, we lost two fucking people. Yeah, they guys seem, uh... Hmm. 
Ads are about to run, by the way. I wish you could, yeah, repopulate. That definitely feels like something that maybe should be a thing. You know? Like if you do an oopsie like that, or if it glitches a way to like bring back the cattle. When you're invading someone? Uh, <laughs> I don't even fucking know, man. I don't have like a crazy big military. We have like some. But that could go, like, horribly wrong. I think it's just been trying to, like, upgrade and get to a point where we're feeling good about growing our population and keeping them stable. To me, the battle stuff is just more of, like, an extra. We just, uh, fought people. If you're asking me to fight like this guy, no. His armies are probably better than mine right now. Don't get me wrong, the, the fighting armies is cool in this, but it's not like as easy as like, I could just, I'm just gonna do it. I might try to do like a restart of the actual game, like reload the game. Not reload, but like close the game, open it back up. Especially since we have like an ad break coming up. Because I've noticed that it's not without glitches, you know. I do think though, I think it glitched out and just had my hunting parties over hunt which is shit because I only have two hunting parties here like this hunting limit three which means when the population drums to the drops to this number we'll stop hunting same one here so that shouldn't have happened it's not anything that I did No, you don't have to micromanage as much. You can do a little bit more, like, micromanaging if you want to with, like, formations and all that stuff, but you don't really need to. At least in the battles that I've done. Like, maybe that becomes more part of the game and important if you're, like, fighting against a proper enemy, like the other guy, you know? The guy that lives here. The other faction leader or whatever. Ads are running, by the way. I'm gonna pause real quick. Hey, our windmill construction finished. Yay. Actually, no, I'm not going to employ in there. Nobody works. All right. Uh, let me run some ads. Be right back.
I'm back. Hello. Probably not going to play that that much longer, just because it's getting later. And my brain's a little mush right now. It's been a long day, too. Uh, I'm going to play for a little bit longer, though. <clears throat> Sly X Dog, thanks for the raid earlier, also. How do you get this early? To be frank, you don't. Uh, unless you're like a content creator, you know, of some of some significance or whatever. Have like a relationship with the, the publishers. Um, that's how a lot of people are playing it early right now. There might be other ways. I don't know exactly how broad their, their scope is in terms of how many people they're letting in to check it out. That's how I got the code. It's basically, uh, I'm a content creator, they know me, so... They sent me an email. I'm like, hey, you wanna check out the game? I said, yes. Your fan don't mind me? Then you shall not be minded! I know a lot of people really want to play this too early, because obviously, yeah, why wouldn't you want to, but... It's just one of the perks of being a content creator is, you know, a job, etc. Looking... Kingdom's looking fine, my lord. Thank you! I think so too. We do have forester, foragers going, right? Yeah. Not enough, though. I got this whole time I've been able to add a herb garden? How long has that been there? For like ever? It's a way to get the game out there without letting the unwashed masses complain about the bugs. Yes. I mean, think about that too. Let's pause the game for a second. The problem with letting... 
everybody play something early. When they give it to people like us, like like you know, content creators and stuff, they know one we're gonna we're gonna play it and and uh, share it with our audiences, right? Those of us that have like a significant enough audience, we're like we're considered for that kind of stuff. I thankfully am a part of that, so that's cool. Um, they know we're also looking for new shit to play, and that a lot of us have probably been anticipating this game, you know, amongst you guys as well. But if they're giving it to certain people as well. Chances are, you hope anyways, chances are, at least from the dev's perspective, and also just in general for the industry's sake, they're giving it to people that understand they're playing something early. It's an early access game, you know? And they read through the email, and they understand like, okay, there's gonna be bugs, blah, 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 this, this, this. Which I understand, and then I communicate that to you. I'm not sitting here like, oh, that's fucking bullshit. I can be upset that a bug has, like, happened, and you know, be frustrated, like, ah, but then, you know, follow me, like, ah, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna fix that, I'm sure, this is early access, so, you know. The problem is if they let everybody play early access, that decision can be very, very costly for them. It can be very, very bad PR, very, very bad reaction. Ah, I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys, you guys know the internet. People who play video games and uh, play early access stuff understand that they're playing something that's unfinished. I don't think the internet ever really, like, just whiplashes and, and, you know, lashes out at devs or anything like that because of bugs for a game that's not finished. That's crazy. <laughs> not all streamers have that mindset. That's true! Not all streamers have that mindset. Even people I'm sure that they've given this code to, this early access to, probably some of them, a portion of them, have bitched and moaned about the game and, and certain bugs or whatever. I think most probably understand their privilege to play the game early and um, understand that it's an unfinished product and are just trying to make fun content around it but uh, that's not everybody don't know at the same time broader audience can help with in finding more bugs again it's a it's a risk assessment right do you risk allowing the general public at large to play your game and even though you tell people explicitly that this game is not finished, please don't, like, review it. Because even the people that have access right now... Reviewers are not meant to be reviewing things right now. Like, it says, like, this is not for review. This is for you to play the game, show off the game, have fun, make content, etc. It is not for reviews, you know? The general people, the general populace and gamers at large are not gonna give a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? People that are not pros that have been working in the industry at least for a significant amount of time or a, a little bit of time where they have some repute don't give a fuck they're just trying to look out for number one they want to make clickbait videos how are they going to get clicks they're going to churn out stuff so that way they, they make it to seem like a flop you know even if they know the game is kind of good you know You forgotted the YouTube's chat? I didn't forgot it, the YouTube's chat. The YouTube's chat forgotted me! No, the YouTube chat use, uh, moves slower. Twitch is always gonna be the one I respond to most. Just because there's more going on there, typically. Hey! Why don't we do a little lurker roll call? Both chats, if you're here and you're lurking and just chilling, what is this lady doing? She's just been standing here doing nothing. Can you move? Oh, yeah. Forgot, forgot you were supposed to move. How big can your town be? I, I mean, I think the limit would just be resources. I think you're meant to just like fucking sprawl, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Is that a real question, Titan? Over there in the YouTube chat. Look at me paying attention to the YouTube chat. I'm doing it. I don't anticipate having as many problems in the in the next winter, because I think we have enough like gardens and all that stuff now. I think. What about you? What are you guys doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Berries, berries. You're on YouTube because um, I'm on my phone and Twitch didn't run properly on the phone. Yeah. Sometimes uh, people have issues watching on certain platforms or not. Sometimes people can't watch on Twitch and they watch better on YouTube, etc. Which is another reason why I'm happy that we're able to multi-stream. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these streams of this game. I do want to play more of it. It's just like with any of these type of Civ building games or like micromanaging sort of games, eventually, especially when it's early access, I'll be honest, you can grow to a certain point and you're like, mm, I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> and also the game can make your main, your uh, your brain feel a little mushy, you know, because you're f trying to focus and keep up with so many things. That happens to me in Anno all the time. You guys know, like I'll have, I'll be playing Anno for a couple of days or a few streams. I grow to a certain size and then everything just becomes a bit much. This is not that bad uh, as Anno from what I can see, but it definitely requires a, a different level of like um, focus and thought. And then I get frustrated because I'm like sidetracked and shit. Some, some streamers do better doing that um, than others. You love anything I stream? Thanks, BM. I appreciate that. That's the idea. Hopefully, uh, it's entertaining uh, in general. I I've literally just been zooming in and out, not really doing much, because <laughs> I'm talking to chat more. What's happening up here? Or down here, rather. In Albondias. Where's our army, too? Did they ever make it back home? Well, they're almost back home. It takes so long for them to get back, too. Okay, we got barley. Almost time. This one will need more time. And our field down here. It's growing. Actually. Mill, and then they're gonna need we have to do the same thing over here, too, actually, in Albondigas. That's going to be our priority. Industry? Yeah. Where does it turn into ale? Ale to function. They make it ale in their homes, that's what it is. Okay, so, right, right, right. Yeah. They have to be upgraded though, don't they? That's when they need a church. Right? Clothing. Tannery. Fuck. Well. We can always just have it where they grow it, turn it into, you know, um, malt, 
and then it gets brewed back over there. You know what I mean? Because we mainly care about the booze getting over to the main, uh, main uh, village. Because uh, if I'm going to try to, like, brew it here, then I got to bring in a church and all this shit, you know? Then I have to have, like, them supplied with... It might be worth it to have a tannery, though. Yeah, we probably should do that. We should at least have a tannery. I think we did make that. Didn't we make a tannery at one point? Could have sworn we did. There it is. Nobody's employed there. <laughs> this whole time they could have been making hides. See, there's one little aspect of the game that I missed out. Should they have God over here? Uh, it makes him happy. If it makes you happy. I guess it can be right here. Do they deserve God over there? That's the question. I don't think us needs God and beer in their life. Sure, have your church. It's your highest priority. Go on, make the church. There they go. Look at them go. Yay. They got a clothing stall. Which means people are going to be happy. They got clothing. And then they'll have church. That'll be nice. Well, we need that anyways. Yeah, it all makes sense because we have to we have to get them upgraded. So they have to be happy enough to the point. Yeah, so they needed the church in order to be able to upgrade it to the level two. Once they have that, then we can actually specialize them into like blacksmith and whatever. Ale maker. So I guess we'll just ship the final product out. More people will want to live here too, because, uh, Boots, belts, and all sorts of shit.
Well, anyways, there they go. They're doing it. How are we doing over here? Lots of veggies and meat. No more berries. Because we fucking just ate the shit up. Look, they're coming home from war. I know the Tempe. Be nice to get seeds in the berries so you can grow them. Yeah, that would be nice to do. It would be nice, and I'm assuming, I have to assume that maybe they're going to add something for it, but it'd be nice if you could do something like eventually in later levels, and maybe you can, and I'm just crazy, like in some of these things, like I know you can double the capacity of all berries deposits, so maybe that's something we do, since we've lost out on the meat, at least for the main area, you know? What is, what is the next thing we need to do? Three level three or higher burger spots? Okay, well if I did that, then I could get another point. Level three or higher, huh? So it requires money. What else do we not have? Oh. It needs the tavern. Yeah, it needs to hit tavern. So it needs to be all full. So it needs a tavern and it needs clothing. It's doable. But it just comes back to getting that, that booze. Speaking of. 99% growth. We still have to build the malt house. Oh, that is a malt house. here why didn't it I don't understand that Like, um, how will food be for this winter? It's gonna be fine. Do you have concerns? It's gonna be totally fine. Probably. M maybe. I don't... That's, that's future Max's problem. And at that point, I... I think I'm gonna end here. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be called... Oh God. We may starve. That's what that save point's gonna be called. I'm tired. <laughs> That's gonna do it for the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there probably won't be a stream tomorrow because it's my day off. And by tomorrow I mean like later today. 
Um, because technically it's already Sunday for a lot of you guys. As always, I appreciate you, uh, tuning in. Spagooglia with the 34 months saying, Hear ye, hear ye, I bring news of thee of thee. Your pants have been soiled by Sir Guns of the Hire. Thank you very much for watching. YouTube, thank you as well. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed. The VOD will be available, of course, after the fact, as always. Both here on Twitch as well as YouTube. Um, crazy amounts of support tonight on, on uh, Twitch specifically, too. Like, insane with that hype train, so. Over? It's early. It's 2.09 in the morning here. And uh, we've been going for seven hours. Games like this tend to, like, sap my brain energy pretty, pretty quickly, too. So. If there is a stream for some reason tomorrow, I doubt there will be. Uh, I'll let you know. The only reason I'm considering it is because obviously I took some days off or a day off extra um, to be with the family and stuff that were that my parents are visiting, and then also having like a shorter stream because of the same reason. But uh, we've also clocked into lengthier streams last night. Last night we went for almost like nine hours. I think it was like eight and a half hours or something playing that game, and tonight's seven hours. So. I don't want to overdo it. I want to be able to get some good sleep so I can enjoy my day off and get, get the day started earlier. I'm probably going to be doing gardening <laughs> like in real life. Because uh, it's at that point. Do some work for the plant guardians. Y'all that have been supporting that whole gardening and plant guardian initiative. As we do. Um, I do promise a, a garden stream coming soon. Um, so look out for that. We would just do an impromptu one, but I feel like for the first one, I'd like to give you guys a heads up so you can look forward to it. Some Stardew slash, I don't know, peasant farm work before relating to the games we've played recently. In real life soon. Uh, that's it. If you are new to the channel, please feel free to come on back another time. Drop us a follow. Uh, either here on Twitch, subscribe or whatever on, on YouTube, and, and check out the socials as well. We usually tweet about when we go live, except for tonight. I totally forgot to tweet that we were live. Um, Discord's a great way to know when we go live, too, as, as far as plans changing and all that. I usually try to put in a, a little announcement, or if there's special events coming up, that's also scheduled, so. Thank you for everything. YouTube, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys first. Have a good one, and have a good rest of your weekend. And I will catch you guys next time, all right? Take it easy, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Night.